Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Scotland Express stream with me, Dad Rail. We are looking to start on time tonight in around about seven minutes. Please have your drinks, light refreshments and haggis ready. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. We will be starting in around about five minutes' time. Iron Brew and Haggis is optional, but we are driving the Scotland Express. Starting in five minutes.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle, skateboard, or rollerblade within the station building. How are we doing? I'm running a little bit late, as you can probably tell. <laughs> but it's all good. We're just sending a Discord message out now to tell everyone we're live. There we go. How are we all doing this evening, ladies and gentlemen? Who have we got in? DET Trains, Republic of Mancunia, Pig and Bob, Sophie, Mrs. Time Lord, LaserJet, CEO of Intercity 225, Shakira King. Davidoff, Northern Princess Productions, modding there, great to have you. Peter Green, Ollie's Trains Gaming, Matt Smith. Fantastic, great to have so many of you here as always. I'm just setting my screen up because I'm running really, really late <laughs> because it's been a bit of a, an evening here. So, two seconds and I should be right with you. Uh, why can you never find the Discord channel you're looking for when you're looking for it? I've obviously got too many on the server, there we go. Live stream pictures, we are in. Let's click that one, click that one. And hopefully everything is now set up and working. So, before we jump into the stream, and as always, guys, I've got to tell you that many companies I may be employed by or associated with. And furthermore, Dovetail Games have given me this route completely free of charge. However, like I've just said, all the opinions are my own. Um, they don't pay me or contract me to say nice things about it. So if there's anything I don't like about it, I will uh, tell you. Some of you may have seen I did stream this route earlier on today. Um... So it's just kind of going to be having another look through it and sort of driving it in both directions. We will be having a look at the 313, 
sorry, the 314 and also the 66 uh, circuit on it today. So it's going to be a, a bit of a longer stream, probably around two, two and a half hours. So stay for as much as you can. Hopefully you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> so we will be having all of the usual features. Guys, we will be having locomotive location delivery. We have two rounds of this queued up for you tonight let's play locomotive livery location your first picture is by ds henry 92 your second picture is by knifed by a kangaroo so really looking forward to these tonight it's always a good one locomotive location livery and of course we'll be jumping in and out the discord server live stream pictures page for that so guys are we ready lw row hello rowan good evening to the trains Choose a route. Edinburgh to Glasgow. Timetable. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a... First of all, we're going to jump in the 385 and we're just going to do a run from um, Edinburgh through to Glasgow. Then we're going to jump in the 314 and do Glasgow back to Edinburgh. And then we're going to have a little look at the 66. Don't reveal it again, D. Yeah. So let's jump in the 385. The four car version. And there are problems with the station lighting on this, which hasn't been fixed yet. So, we're going to put it in April. Um, we're going to do an, an Edinburgh, I said, didn't I? Let's see if we can do kind of a sunset -y kind of time of day trip. So, what do we reckon? If we start at 1800, that should be okay. Um, Edinburgh, Waverley to Glasgow, Queen Street Express... We're going to set the weather to light clouds in the hope that we get something a little bit exciting happening uh, along the way. So, let's press get started. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen some streams on the route already, so if you have any thoughts on it, I'd be really interested to hear them on the chat. I will give you my thoughts as we go along. Like I said, I did stream this earlier on, so if you were in uh, in that one, I know a few of you are DET trains, I know you were there earlier. Sophie, Mrs. Time Lord, uh, Northern Princess. So, um, I may be repeating some of what I said in the earlier stream, but never mind. Never mind. Okie dokie, so first thing we'll do is get the train set up. So, safety systems in. So, 385 safety systems are isolated as standard, uh, as you would expect from a Train Sim World free game. Hey, Reese Harrison has become a member. Thank you very much, Reese. Master key on. Into neutral. I'm going to give you some game audio as well there because I always forget to turn that on. We don't have long to set up the cab in this. They haven't given us long. They've only given us a minute. You haven't got the standard two minutes. Um, headlights to full. And we can put our lovely TMS on which is the eagerly awaited aspect of this route. Oh, we have got an eight car. Oh, okay. I've not driven an eight car on this route. That could be interesting. We'll see how we get on. Um, right, so you can type any four digits here to log in. I am going to put my PIN number in for my bank card because that's the best one to do. Genuinely, that's not my PIN number, guys. I promise. Do not put your PIN number in there. Somebody will be watching. And then we've got our door configuration there. We're still loading passengers, so we're okay for the minute. We'll have a little look at the... Um, TMS system as we go along, but for now, of course, we have to play some announcements. Customer info. Let's see if this is going to work. Welcome to the Scott Rail service to Glasgow Queen Street. Superb. Let me know if you need the game audio up or down. This train is quite noisy. The next station is. The next station is. Yeah, so that's one of the, the, the bugs with it. The next station does not play when you leave your first station. So before you've left your first station, it won't play um, what the next station is. So, there it is, 385. It looks absolutely beautiful. And that's one of the things I have picked up on, have picked up on this route, is how beautiful it looks. The lighting and the train. Um, Rivet have done a fantastic job, attention to detail-wise. So, superb. Okie dokie, we've got a green, let's go into forward, that does help, and let's get out of here. So, I've got my cheat sheet here telling me exactly how to drive the route, because some of you may have seen that I did do a little route learning video on this. 
so we're, which way are we going? We're going Edinburgh to Glasgow, so I need that piece of paper there. So we're 20 leaving the station here, and then 50 once we're clear of the points. What are we saying in the chat? Do the see it sorted, see it sorted, say it, see it sorted, say it announcement, that one. Um, safety and security, there we go. So once we get around the corner, the speed limit got up to 50. Peter Green, let's see if the pro does a better job with the brakes than I. Uh, yeah, I'll use the word pro lightly there, Peter. So there are some issues with the brakes on this train. There's a little bit of um, controversy going on about whether they need refining or not. So me personally, I think the brakes are probably... I don't think they're as good as what they would be in real life uh, on this train and I think that's something that may need to be patched. The train is drivable at the moment but the brakes, you need to go into about 60, 68, 60 to 80% to kind of get them to do anything. In the low brake steps they really don't do anything. Train driver Sam, hello, how are we doing? Right, so the line speed's gone up to 50, next station is Haymarket get the power in. Reese Harrison, I'm doing one of the Dunblane services right now. I haven't done any of those ones, uh, Reese. I'm guessing you kind of need to know the um, stopping points for the other stations on there. So Haymarket as we come out the tunnel. And if you want to have a look around the stations, guys, um, if you want to have a look around the stations, we can do that once we finish the first drive before we jump in the... Um, uh, the 314, we can have a little look around the stations. DET Train says, sounds like Nicholas Sturgeon. I hope you mean the announcements and not me. So I'm using kind of 60% braking straight away, which is the equivalent of brake step two. We are an eight car. Um, so one of the things as well, stop car marks do not exist on some of the platforms. Haymarket being one of them. Uh, it did to see like I should have stopped 50 odd yards ago, but I've got an 8 car train. Or at least the TMS showed me as an 8 car train. Okay, well, we've well and truly overcooked that. 96 yards. Okay, unlock doors. So I'm just going to check. Okay, yeah, so this is another bug that needs reporting. We are. Oh. So we oh crikey. Me and camera controls, honestly. <laughs> so I'm making the train late to double check. So yeah, this is an eight car train, definitely an eight car train. And I was about 50 or 60 yards over the stopping point. If I'd stopped where it wanted me to stop, that back unit wouldn't have been on the platform. So the stop car markers on the platforms, the four eight S's don't exist in some places and it would also appear it's telling me to stop in the wrong place as well so um, that's certainly not great anyway lock doors let's play some announcements welcome to the Scott Rail service to Glasgow Queen Street Off to Falkirk High, going via location uh, Edinburgh Park. Yeah, someone mentioned the fans on top that are animated. It's really nice. So yeah, I, I, the route looks beautiful. It, it's a really, really beautiful looking route. Other than that's number two view, and that's as far as I can get away from the train. Which is a bit oh, there we go. My bad. Yeah, the, the route looks really nice, and the train looks really nice, but there, there are a, a couple of things that are just buggy. Uh, train driver Sam, what's with the blank signals? Yeah, because uh, on the HUD there, Sam, because I have them turned off um, in the options, that's why we've got that. Jack HST Productions, I refuse to believe that there are no stop car marks at Haymarket in real life. I would agree with that, yeah. Um, Bebbington Trainspotter wants some tones. 
we can most certainly do that. What we'll do in a minute is we'll try and get to Edinburgh Park and we'll do a flyby shot and get some tones as we go past. Uh, Ollie's trains gaming. Uh, we're 19 up to 100 in a second, aren't we? My bad. I'm speeding. There we go, there's the 100. Um, Ollie's trains gaming. The door opening chime sounds like the water line doors on robots. It, it does a little bit, yeah. Jack HST Productions. I've heard rumours. Uh, but I've not heard anything official. Uh, being that I'm quite closely involved with that, I'm not going to comment further. But yeah, I, I've heard I've heard rumours. Okay, so I'm managing to speed again, which is great. Or not. Let's drop a little bit of braking. Power notch two on this train tends to hold it around 100 quite nicely, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, Jack, if you want to tell the chat, you can do, but I'm not going to get involved in that conversation uh, for reasons I'm sure you'll understand. Right, let's see if we can get down to Edinburgh Park. I may have left this a little bit late because we are bombing along at 100. And we'll get a flyby shot. I think I've left this way too late. Oh, it could have been a double! Oh, the camera controls. Epic fail. Failed miserably. Failed miserably. Peter Green, could they have made the front windscreen any smaller on the 305? Like looking for a poster stamp. It's not great, is it? Okay, so that's interesting. I've just noticed something. In the outside view, it's raining. In the inside view, it's not raining. Must be a Scotland thing. Must be, must be a unique feature to Scotland. It's my phone ringing. <laughs> I, I shall deal with that very soon. Um, oh, go via location in Lithgow. Okay, so we, where are we stopping then? Oh, we're fast to Falkirk then. Glasgow Queen Street. Okay, so I, I probably have picked the wrong service here. Yeah, JB Video, Cab Audio is one of those things in this game, or in this route in particular, that is certainly not great. It does sound like I have the windows open. So the audio in general I think is very good. The motor sounds um, are reasonably good on it, but there's a kind of a wind loop running in the background, and that's just, it's a little bit too loud, it's a little bit too in your face. So we are looking out for like a farm building coming up on the right hand side. That's going to be our shot off point. Oh, I should be up at 100 before I shot off, but that's okay. And this is how we would drive in real life, we'd be looking out for the landmarks. So there's like the farm buildings over there. So I am going to shut back the power there. And as someone says, have we got locomotive location delivery? Yes, we have. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Let me know if you want the game audio turned down, guys, because, like I say, that when you're driving along in this train, it is incredibly noisy. So the 30 board we've just gone past um, should have an arrow on it to show it's supplying to the loop, which it doesn't. There's also another speed board here, that 90 board there on the left, which doesn't apply to us either, so it's, it's a little bit strange. So we are approaching something called 36 or 38 arch viaduct, there you go. And I'm speeding. Now, if you've watched my route learning video, you might have noticed as we come onto the bridge there, you've got a 90 board and an 80 board. You've got a 90 SP and an 80 board. Um, the SP board is basically enhanced speed, so certain classes of train are permitted to do 90 over it. The class 385 is permitted to do 90 over that viaduct, although the game only allows us to do 80. Um, and I checked that by reading the sectional appendix, which is the kind of the driver's bible um, to groups, if you like. 
But we are kind of getting some rain effects in the cab now, so we, we've got something. Going back up to 90. Let's see if the windscreen wipers will work, if I can find them. The wipers do work. Okay, that's 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 something. Okay, guys, locomotive delivery location. What are we going for? Um, Leo Low, you have got the first one with number 13. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. If you haven't seen this game before, guys, I'm going to give you box number 13. You've got 10 seconds to try and guess the locomotive livery and location of the picture behind. Josh Mitchell, welcome to the Round new subscriber. Oh, that's a good one. What are we reckoning in there, guys? 10 seconds. Let me know your thoughts on that. Do let me know your thoughts on that. Ollie's Trains Gaming, I best be off. Got work placement in the morning. Oh, good luck with that, Ollie. What are we going for? Oh my goodness. Laser Jet straight in there, 720 C2C. Penguin, C2C 720. DT Trains, C2C class 720. A lot of uh, lot of love for the CTC 720s there. Um, Left Jay just bought the game and the TMS not working at all. Don't know what I'm doing wrong. What platform are you playing on, Jay? Are you playing on Xbox? Because I know there are some issues with the TMS on, on the Xbox platform at the moment. So if you're playing on Xbox, my guess would be that's the reason why. Uh, Gadget Boy 313 is going 720. Big and Bob is going CTC 720. So we're eight cars back up to 100. So I'm just going to keep that power notch two in. I wish I'd picked a service that was stopping at more stations. So it's a little bit irritating, but never mind. Never mind. We're going to do the route in the opposite direction in the um, 313, which should be good. Sorry, 314, I keep saying 313. Andrew, I completely and utterly agree with everything you've just said there. Uh, is there a game setting for the combined power brake throttle lever to make it more responsive? Moving from brake off and power looks much more responsive on the stream than I've been experiencing. No, there isn't. It, it genuinely isn't very responsive. Uh, you, your best bet is rather than pressing A and D, press and hold them to get it to move. It, it, it genuinely, the way the combined power brake control moves isn't particularly responsive. It could do with being a little bit quicker. Uh, especially going from brake to power, there seems to be a, a kind of a little bit delay in the middle. Richard, can you go to London Commuter for a quick second at the end of the stream? Quite possibly, but we can have a look at that quickly. Uh, Steve Killing Out Music. Hi Richard, apart from OpenBB that includes AWS, are there any newer train sims that incorporate AWS and Dead Man's Piddle? Um, yeah, this one. The, the alarms, that ping you hear there is the AWS going off, and the other alarm you hear is the, uh, the driver safety device of the Dead Man's Piddle. Yeah, left J, that'll be the reason. There, there has been some issues with the TMS on Xbox. Um, I know they delayed the PlayStation release because of that, but there, there has also been some issues on Xbox with it. So that, that'll be a reason why. Matt Smith, I'm loving how Xbox lets us use DLC on both consoles and PC now. Finally makes it worth the extra cost over Steam. Yeah, Jack, I said earlier on in the stream, I'm, I, because I'm quite close to that particular um, that particular sort of affair, if you like, I'm not going to comment on it, but feel free to talk about it in the chat, but I, I'm not going to get involved in that. Sam Brooks asks a really good question. What's the difference between the driver safety device and the driver vigilance device? So they're basically, they're, in, they're interlocked together. They work off the same pedal down here see coming up and down. So the driver safety device requires you to keep your foot on that pedal at all times. When you take your foot off the pedal, the driver vigilance device will trigger. The driver vigilance device 
is the alarm you keep hearing going off. The beep, 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 beep. So if you take your foot off that pedal, the driver vigilance device, the vigilance alarm will sound. You then have, depending on the type of traction, seven seconds to put your foot back on the pedal. If you put your foot back on the pedal within that seven seconds, nothing happens, everything's fine. The driver vigilance device will also sound, if your foot's on the pedal and you haven't touched the controls for more than 60 seconds, the vigilance device will also sound and then you'll have to lift your foot up and place it back down again to make sure you're there. So they're, they're very much, they're not the same thing but they're, they're very sort of uh, entwined. Yeah, DET train says there, I really like the fact we've got the, um, the TMS, we don't have a working GSMR which for me is a little bit of a letdown in the route. We, we kind of almost had a, an almost fully functioning cab for the TMS. If we'd had the GSMR, that would have been the cherry on top for the train. Um, definitely, definitely. Seven seconds seems like a really long time. It does depend on the traction, but I believe when I was driving Electrostars, it was seven seconds. Um, Simply none. I recently bought this. Is there any way you can make the announcements automatic? I don't believe so, no which is really, really annoying. So, what's our next speed? 90. We're doing all right, let's have a little play. So we've got our safety and security announcements, customer info and operational info. If you press the up and down scrolls, you basically, it's going through the same announcements, it's just scrolling through them rather than jumping to that particular menu. So, we've got once, continuous and repeat. So if we have that on once, and then we try to announce that one, for example, we'll click on the announcement, then click announce. We get the announcement once. If we press continuous, and then we press that, it's going to play continuously, hopefully. So that's just going to play that continuously, so we can press stop, um, or we can select select repeat and then a number. So we can ask the announcement to repeat twice, three times, four times, five times, etc, etc. So I'm just going to keep that on once for now. Someone asked why is there a fast train announcement on there? Um, good question, I'm not entirely sure. So we have a look at um, through all the announcements, can't even hear the announcements, they are there. But the, the, the train is really, really loud, so we might have a, a little bit more, a little look at those in more detail once the train comes to a stand. So safety security, on and off trains, mind the gap, valid tickets, fast train approaching. Why they have that on the TMS yard, I, I, I don't know, Penguin, that does seem weird, doesn't it? See it say, it's all these smoking prohibited arriving at. So the arriving at one will automatically put the station name in. So we jump down to customer info, we get the arriving at, this is your belongings. This train is for... Class 385 Service 2, Scott Rail Service 2, and the next station is. Hopefully that's worked. And then operational info we've got first class testing, testing, address, address test, display test, announcement test, public address, and delayed service. So we're two miles out of Falkirk. I'm just checking for my where my breaking point is for Falkirk. Um, bridge before tunnel. So we want to shut off at the 90 boards according to my paperwork. A DET trains no in real life this route is not DOA. The driver opens the doors and they're closed by the conductor. Okay, so that's the 90 ball coming up just there. And the bridge before the tunnel is where we want to get 60% braking in. So just here, it is a wet rail, but hopefully that's going to work. And this should bring us in nicely for the, the station as we come through the Fort Kirk Tunnel.
Yeah, Nathan Strange, I'm not too bad, but how are you doing? Uh, Andrew, in real life there is also an announcement about Scott Rail's electric train being the greener way to travel. I personally think there's a few announcements are missing from this. That's never going to stop. What is going... The, the braking is inconsistent because in my route learning video I do exactly what I've done there and we stop perfectly on the mark. Oh, you are going to want me to go to the 8 car mark at this station. That's, that's quite good. I mean, we are on a wet rail, but the rails in the tunnel shouldn't be wet. And we have now got rain, although it's not falling on the windscreen. So you can see there in like, I mean like, 70% brake. And it's hardly slowing down at all, to the extent where I've managed to overshoot the platform. In like, 70% brake. It just doesn't, the brakes just... The brakes are not right on the train. They're really not. But this does give me an opportunity to demonstrate the train management system. Woohoo! So because we've put our first carriage off the end of the platform, we don't want to open the doors on that carriage. So we can do a local open via the train management system. Which is why I overshot the platform. I've done it on purpose. So, front of the train is here. Which is wrong because the front of the train should be here. But for some reason the front of the train is there. So we can select that carriage... That carriage, that carriage, that carriage, that carriage, that carriage, that carriage. Then we can click open left. Ah, oh, now we've got a rain effect on the window. Okay. And as you can see, if we jump into the free cam. Doors on this one have not opened. However, they have further down. But, however, because nothing's without bugs and controversy... The bill lights have not come on, on the coaches that have opened, the body side indicator lights, the yellow lights. And if you look at the objective marker at the top, it just says unlock doors. It, if you open the doors on the TMS, the train management system, it does not register that you've opened the doors in the scenario. So I've still got to click there. Which may possibly clear that or possibly not. And if we jump into the outside view, the body side indicator lights, the bill lights are still not working properly. They haven't come on. The yellow light's there. So we close the doors. Even though it's still telling me to unlock doors. And we are off. So it's a little bit... It's buggy guys. It's, it's, it's a little bit buggy. It's nothing that kind of... Other than that braking problem, it's nothing that kind of interferes overly with the driving experience but it is buggy okay so what I want to try now I'm going to turn the wipers off right so there we go there's another oh, this, I'm, I'm really sorry about this I feel like I'm just saying really bad things about this route there's no rain effect on the window when we're driving along. So when we're sitting still, you get rain effects on the window. As soon as we start driving along, the rain effect has gone. But we are getting a little bit of rain effect in the top right there. Um, do you know what? It, it's a real, real shame because this is a beautiful route. I mean, even, even in the rain there. The 385, it looks stunning. That is an amazingly beautiful one. Look, we've got raindrops effects on the outside running down the screen. But only on the second man side. Which is curious. Not on the driver's side. The driver's obviously immune from it. You know, it, it looks absolutely stunning. It's, it just irritates me that these bugs are there. A TT train's glitch number 2330. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Jay Goodman, I'm one of them, but I must admit I, I didn't pick this route up until... Um, I didn't pick this route up until it was in early access for, for the ambassadors to look at, so I, I didn't actually test it. Um, NG, I imagine Dovetail Games must be secret, secretly be annoyed also about how many bugs and how this release may have gone been perceived. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it for them, guys. I mean, 
you know, I, I don't think it's all negative, okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful route. It's really great to have a route in Scotland. Um, but it, it drives all right. It, it's playable. It is playable. But it's not polished. There, there's so many things that are not right about this. It's, it's almost quite jokeable. I mean, I'm, as you know, I'm, I'm normally quite positive about everything. I'm, I'm normally, you know, I normally say, yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. There might be one or two things, but I'm normally quite a positive person. I'm really struggling with this route, and it, it really disappoints me because there is so much potential in this. And I'm really trying not to come across negative because it's, I'm, I'm generally not, not a negative person. Um, Rob Aviation, welcome to Dunbar. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see once we get in the 314, which is relatively bug free, but we'll see how the route drives. But the bugs seem to be more. There we go, gone through a neutral section and there was no signage for it. The bugs seem to be a lot more train based than route based, so we'll, we'll see how we get on. But it, it's just frustrating. It is, yeah, it is. Anyway, that's enough whinging. Let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Uh, Sam will be train spotting. Personally, I'd prefer more delay in delivering if it meant we get an ultimately a higher quality product. Yeah, definitely, Sam. I, I, I do quite agree. Shikaira Queen 380 is more of a stunning looking train. Yeah, I, I kind of meant in game. We haven't got a 380 in game, but I know what you mean. Um, 385s are actually quite ugly, but it's, it's very nicely modelled in game. Uh, NG just found within the community dovetail games have been under pressure and Isle of Wight 20 Pro and Isle of Wight 2022 was good as was Birmingham Cross City so this had a level of expectation and as you say it's not polished and hasn't quite been the best really no I yeah that, that, that is a real shame and it is a real disappointment plot twist the 385 has a smaller windshield than a tank I, I was I was gonna say okay, something immediately come to my mind there, and like I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, but it's very tongue in cheek, and it's not men. It's probably got more chance of being shot at than a tank, being that it's driven in Scotland. But so. it's meant in jest. I love Scotland. I love the Scottish people, and I love Scotland. And the Scottish people are such good sports; they're gonna take that. Into Okay, guys, what are we reckon in locomotive location livery? Rowan's got it, number 10. Let's play locomotive livery location. Okay, guys, here we go. Give you box number 10. Give me the locomotive livery and location. Ah, oh, this is far too easy. DS Henry 92, thank you for the picture. I should have positioned it in such a way to make it a bit more tricky. Yeah, I look forward to getting Scenario Editor and getting an HST or something on this route. That would be pretty cool. Um, there's probably already something on the workshop. It wouldn't surprise me if someone's already got something out. Um, DT Trains is going Watford Junction. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Sophie Mrs. Time Lord's going Portsmouth. Shakira King is a 720 in C2C. CEO of Intercity 225. Is that a sea or a river? DT Trains, very blurry photo. Makes it more difficult, though. Andrew, how does a 465 drive compared to a 365? We had 365s in real life before 395s arrived. I never drove a 365. I did drive 465 as a shunt, but I've never drove a 365, so I can't comment. Uh, NG, C2C 720 South End. The way those signals pop in the low lighting conditions is brilliant and that's something I've, I've been... Look, you can see that green signal for miles away, flickering in the distance. And that's something that I've been critical about in previous routes, the signals haven't stood out. And when you're in low level lighting conditions like this, they really, really pop. There are so many good things about this route, there are so many good things, but they're really being overshadowed by, by all the problems that are occurring with it. Um, Croy Platform 2. Stop at location Glasgow Queen Street in 10 miles. 
the horn sounds bad. It's got a bit of an echo on it. It sounds nice when it's in Glasgow or Edinburgh, but the, the canopy, the echo kind of kind of works. But um, out here in the open, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Hey, Davidoff, yeah, she's good, thank you. Jack HST Production says CGC class 720 at Lee. Is that Lee or Lie? Uh, we have a station on the Tunbridge branch, uh, Tunbridge to Redhill branch, spelled exactly the same as that, but it's pronounced Lie. I think it's Lee though, isn't it? CTC. Nathan's trains and robots. I don't think the motor sounds. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I don't think I've ever even seen one of these trains in real life. But the motor sounds sound okay to me. It's that, it's that run sound that we've got. That wind loop. It's just a, it's just a little bit too loud for my liking. CEO of Intercity 225. We should get to Glasgow on time in theory. Well, that's unrealistic for a start. You know, when have you known a Scott route train to be on time? It just, just doesn't happen, does it? Emotional damage. Had to be done. Yeah, the 365 were from southeastern, Andrew, but certainly before my time. Lee on C is pronounced Lee. Perfect. Yeah, exa exactly, Nathan. The yeah, that's not the motor sounds though. What you're hearing in the background, it's like it's like a wind loop, it's the, the wind rushing past. And I agree, it's it's far too loud. Um, you, you kind of end up turning the game down, and then you can't hear the motor sounds, and you can't hear the speakers just because that um, just because it is that loud. Blob, the motor sounds definitely aren't accurate. They're supposed to have a change in pitch and sound like eight hundred. Yeah, like I said, I, I can't comment on whether they're accurate or not. I've, like I said, I've never even seen one of these trains in real life. But to me, they, as, as a casual kind of not knowing anything about these trains, they, they, they sound okay. Hey, the SE London Musman, how are we doing? Seven point one miles to Glasgow Queen Street. We're going to pass through Lenzie Station in a minute and then Bishop's Brig. Hey Max, how are you doing bud? You missed the first stream because you were at school, so uh, I thought you were going to miss two in one day. <laughs> Eliza, Scott Rail trains on time, it's like SS S NCF mainline trains, it's not right. Someone was asking for um, a rec call. Emergency, emergency, emergency. There we go. Uh, Rob Aviation, I really wanted the sounds to be good on this, but they're nowhere near what they should be. I've travelled on lots of these units and they sound nothing like this in real life. It is that, for me, it's just that wind blue. I, I just can't get over that wind blue. Lenzi Station, it's a good place to shut off. We can coast. Uh, we need a little bit of break, but we don't need any more power now until we're down near Glasgow. Uh, this train will coast for, for absolute miles. Adrian, what's your favourite YouTuber that isn't you? Uh, probably Tom Scott. I love a bit of Tom Scott. So we're coming past... Uh, I can't remember the name of this depot. Well, or something like that, I want to say. I put it in my route learning video and I can't remember it. Uh, Jordan, the little noise you heard, I'm, I'm assuming you're referring to this. That is the noise the GSMR radio makes when you receive an emergency call. And if you, if you hear that, you stop your train very, very quickly. DT trains, Tom Scott is nice. Uh, Peter Green or Jeff Marshall. I, I used to follow Jeff Marshall, but I haven't watched any of Jeff Marshall's stuff recently. Um, I, I probably should, I probably should catch up. Kada, that's the one, Andrew. Thank you very much, bud. Is it Kada or Kada? Today I am at Tom Scott. Today I am at insert any random location. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rob Aviation, I get what you're saying. Just the sounds alone are stopping me from buying this add-on, and that's from a Scotsman. 
No, that's, that's definitely fair enough, bud, definitely fair enough. Like I say, guys, I, I uh, Dovetail Games have given me this route free of charge at River Games, and Dovetail Games have provided me a key free of charge. Um, but I will be completely honest with you, you know, it's, you know, I, I think honesty is important. Wrapping things in cotton wool doesn't help anyone. You know, I don't pick up on the good things about it. You know, the route, it looks, the route looks stunning. It looks stunning. The way the signals pop is lovely. The, you know, the, the detail on the stations and the lighting, it's superb. It's, you know, dare I say it, it's a typical rivet job. It looks great, but it doesn't work. So we've got 70 and then a 50 straight afterwards. The 50 comes up really quickly, so um, we want to be getting the brakes in. So I think the, the majority of my issues are not with the route, they're with the train. I think, I think the, route, the route's good, the route's good. Rippy should lose the franchise. Now, now. Rivet, uh, you know, they're obviously a very, very capable studio because the, the quality of work in the route and the graphics is brilliant. And I just don't know where things are falling down, but something's falling down somewhere. You know, it's like Island Line. It looks absolutely superb. West Cornwall is a really, really nice looking route. There's just, there's just something, isn't there, where things are going wrong. Um, column medley biscuit, Waverley, great detail. I think you need to revisit. It, it, you know, it looks pretty good to me for a, for a train sim game. The areas we can visit, it does look pretty good to me. Maybe you disagree, but I, I think it looks pretty good. It's, it's certainly a good representation. So we've got a 30 coming up, which starts just before we go into the tunnel. We need an announcement soon. We do. We do. Right, we must remember to do these announcements. TMS is a great touch. I, you know, I would prefer it if the announcements were automated. I think everyone would. However, it's the first time we've had announcements in game, so I'll, I'll cut them a little bit of slack. You know, it's, it's kind of a cut your teeth, see if it works, see if people like it, and I'll cut them a little bit of slack with that. You know, so I, I doesn't, I don't really mind too much with that one. Yeah, look at the way the signals pop and the glare on the signals. It's brilliant. Two yellows. Red in the tunnel. Oh, we're not due in until 48, so. And then just after the one yellow in the tunnel, the speed limit will drop to 20. So there's our 30 board. Better not overrun Queen Street. No, we try not to, Peter. Um, that would definitely be tea biscuits with the manager. The other thing that we haven't got modelled on here is working TPWS. Uh, we had it on Cross City, and I, I think, you know, if we're being honest, Cross City was a really, really good route. It was up there. There were really high expectations, and they really did deliver on that route. Um, so I, I think we were all, we were all expecting a lot more. I mean, 50% break there, so that's half of my break force. And look, it's just, I mean, I know we're on a 2.2% gradient, but it should be doing more than that. Yeah, the um, blob, the LED ones do. The LED ones are the, intensely bright to the extent where at night you can't see past them. Um, yeah, definitely. That 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 is that is really good, and it's something I've I've moaned about in pre. Well, not moaned about. It's something I've mentioned in previous reads that the signals don't pop, and they they really have done um, a good job with that here. I didn't have any AWS on the approach to that signal. That may be. As is, that may be stereotypical, I don't know. There are, um, approaching some terminal stations and in some places, there there are AWS gaps where you don't have AWS. So, full service brake application, DRA set into neutral. 
we can play a delay announcement. Now, we might actually be able to hear it now we're not moving. Although we're not being delayed, but let's play it anyway. We are sorry to announce that this train is delayed. We apologise for the inconvenience caused. <laughs> Brilliant. I, I do like the announcements. I, I do. I'm going to play my favourite one now. Um... Here you go, guys. You asked. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See, see it, it, say it, it sorted. sorted. Post your numbers now for locomotive yeah, livery definitely location. Yeah, definitely There are good things to say about this for it. It's... it's it's not all bad. It's not all bad. I, I am being really, really critical in this stream, and I'm, I'm aware of that. And I'm, I'm almost apologising for being critical, which I probably shouldn't do. Um, yeah. I, I'm hoping... I have, I've only driven this in the 385, so I'm hoping once we get in the 314 in a minute, it's going to be a lot better experience. Um, right, who are we going for on locomotive location... Locomotive location livery. NG number two. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. You've got some two guys, 10 seconds. Locomotive Livery Location. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let me know. Jason, I hope you know how much pain you are causing me, Richard. <laughs> I do apologise, Jason. I bet you hear that announcement quite a lot in your, your line of work. Oh, just answering your chat while we're waiting for the signal to change here. Once we get into the station as well at Glasgow, we're going to have a quick nosy round it. There's not much to see at Queen Street, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but we'll have a nosy round, then jump on the 314. Uh, Blob, did you find passenger driving less fulfilling than freight driving? I love the idea of being responsible for hundreds of passengers going to work on holiday. Um, yeah, for me, Blob, the, the passenger work was quite limiting in so much as it was the same routes and the same traction day in, day out. It's just backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Not a great deal of variety. Where with, with the freight, there's a lot more variety. You're driving different types of traction. You've got more route variety. As contracts change hand as well, so you win work, you lose work. The routes you sign and the work you do might change. So that there's a lot more variation in the work, which was the, the big appeal to me. Never had any objections to driving passenger trains, really. Never had any problem with the public as such. Used, used to quite like the public. Used to make an, like making announcements and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, no, that, that's that's kind of my take on it. What are we reckoning? South East Rail Production somewhere near water. DT Trains is going chalk well. Jason, I hear it a lot. Should we do it once more just for you? Um, hey, Daryl Henry, how are we doing, bud? Great to have you here. Crazy face. I wonder if you can drive the tram on the tracks on this route with the God mode. JB Video, I bet you wish you could drive on rail tours. Yes, yeah, so as my company do operate rail tours, but I've not been fortunate enough to be chosen for any yet. Um, that sort of work tends to go to the more senior drivers, which is, is rightly so, I guess. Rightly so. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm really hoping this is not going to bug out on me. No, we have got a train coming in. Which looks like it might have red lights on the front. Surely not. I don't. I don't want to find anything else. I don't. You know. I, I genuinely don't want to find any. It has red lights on the front. This is when, as a train driver, we start going like this to the driver coming the other way, in in the hopes that they're going to change their lights over. Oh, there we go. See, it worked. It worked. It worked. The AI is um, it's watching me. Right, we're 20 into Queen Street. Uh, let's take the DRA off. That certainly helps, doesn't it? It tends to go if you take the DRA off. Uh, Save you, Mr. Time Lord. That's a glitch that's been picked up on. Platform 3. Just get it up to about 15 and then we'll let it roll because it's going to pick up really quickly coming into here. Let's turn the cab light off. Freaky, it worked, I know. That is freaky. Very, very freaky. So guys, as we're coming through a dark tunnel and there's not much to look at and we've got 172 of you lovely people in, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. You're liking my, my content and presenting style rather than the route. 
<laughs> so don't don't click dislike because of all the trouble in the route. Please, please, I beg of you. Hey Adrian, how are we doing, bud? One of many reports that I sent Jasper. I, I sent a long listed earlier as well. See you over into city. We won't forget. Arrive at. We'll press that one just as we come out the tunnel. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. We'll soon arrive at Glasgow Queen Street. Now one of the announcements that's missing from here is the... This train terminates here. That announcement isn't on there. That That's probably a one I would like to have seen and um, the other announcement that's missing is stand clear of the doors and if we press the this is when we stop I think it's going to bug out I mean but it looks really nice come on with the, the, the route we're coming into Glasgow there it looks really nice hey British Chase hello hello how we doing bud yeah we don't have the all change Peter Green we, we don't have that announcement It's 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 been omitted 60% break to get it to stop on the buffers. It's... Okay, let's open the doors. And we'll press... This is... This is Falkirk High. It's not Falkirk High. She, did she just say that? This is... Falkirk High. No, it's not Falkirk High. Never mind. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Let's see what we got score-wise anyway. We got a gold medal despite the um, stop accuracy. Yes, yeah, so, so at Haymarket there, I was 95 yards past where it wanted me to stop, yet the back of my train was practically hanging off the end of the platform. Train announcement's broken. Passengers are all confused and getting back on the train. Jason is better than an AI system. Oh, I, I really, really want to like this. I really want to like it. it the, the route is beautiful. It's a really nice length. It's great to have a route in Scotland. It looks amazing. The train looks amazing. I really, really want to like it. Okay. Let's do... Glasgow Queen Street to Edinburgh Waverley on the um, 314. Uh, Stuart Sampson, can I ask as a driver, is the brake response on this what we'd expect? No, it's not, Stuart. Um, seems you don't get much brake until you get up to 60%. Yeah, no, it's 100%, Stuart. That's one of the things that's being talked about at the moment. Um, the, br the braking isn't right. It's not where it should be at. 13.07, so it doesn't really matter what... Um... Should we do it in the snow? That'll be typical for Scotland. Let's do it in the snow. Because this route looks pretty. And I've got a funny feeling it's going to look really pretty in the snow. Uh, Bluegrass, if you go into free roam, does the AI play announcements? It does not, no. Oh, I've not played in this train very much at all. So, bear with. Let's put that on. Um, have we got somewhere for the vigilance as well? Uh, d d d d d d d DSD on. Okay. We're now in what some would describe as a proper train. Although this is a train scene world 2 train, so we can excuse some of the snow effects and stuff not working on the windscreen. windshield. The windshield is so much bigger as well, isn't it? Uh, DRA should be set, which it is, and doors on the left, uh, the right, sorry. My bad. Um, why is our break in release? Let's put that in step three. That would be a good idea. Uh, we want to set some lights as well. Let's do that. Um, headlights, marker lights. This is a rail tour. I feel like it should have a little headboard on it. We should have had a mod on the, on the loco, which gives us a little headboard. 
I don't think the DSD works on the 314, says Sam. No worries. Now all you need is Scott Rail 68s. South East Rail Productions, I am 100% with you for the 68s. Jason, Snow, cancel the service. Everyone go home. Not in Scotland, Jason. They're made of harder stuff up there. Um, Sam, I won't be spending £30 on this until there are some updates. Sam, do you know what? I I completely agree with you, bud, if I'm being honest. I, I, I think... Even in a finished state, I think £30 is probably a little bit too much. I think for the length of the route, nearer 20 would be more appropriate. I, I, I normally... Look, red signal, we've got to close the doors. That's not good. I normally advocate... Where's the door close button? I normally advocate the fact that, you know, devs have got to eat. I'm normally a supporter that, that devs have got to eat. Um... And they, you know, they need to charge money for their work and people should pay for it. I'm, I'm, you know, very, very much a supporter of that. However, I, I don't think for the length of the route it represents value for money. £30 is, is pretty much the cost of a, of, a, of a new game, you know. Yeah, DET, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm definitely with you. And I think, I think the majority of the problems are with the train, not the route. Green and the U. We're 20 leaving here. We're off to Bishop's Brig. So when I've done my route learning video, I didn't stop at Bishop's Brig, so... Where does the train stop? Bishop's Brig, Falkirk High, Haymarket and Waverley. So only a couple of stops. Open the window, someone says. There we go. Close the doors in the cab, you need to stand up uh, and we'll be on the left. So 2.2% gradient uphill. Uh, we'll have a go on the 66 as well once we get to um, back to Edinburgh. We'll have a look at those elevators, working elevators. That's a pretty cool feature. And the pianos, which I really do like. And, of course, we've got a maximum speed of 75 on the free. I think the 75 is... Free one, um, the 314 is 75 miles an hour, I believe. LWRL, I probably won't be buying this route until it's on sale at some point. I'm really, really hoping that Dovetail and, and, and Rivet Games are going to pick up on this feedback and they're going to they're gonna fix the issues. You know, I know I keep, ba I keep banging on about it, but it, it does have potential. It does have potential. It says I've used the wiper, but nothing's happening. Slow. Oh, lovely air-powered wipers. Beautiful, beautiful. 75 says DT. Thank you very much. Jason, elevators, pianos. You've sold me on the £30 cost. It's the problem, Jason. Attention to detail on this route is brilliant. It really is brilliant. Yeah, football jack. The brakes are not good. I'm... I remember from playing Kafka, which I've only done a couple of times at the break, sir. Pretty poor, but they're expectedly poor, if that makes sense. So you, you kind of you kind of expect the brakes to be bad on a on a three one four. Really see that changing gradient as we come across the top there as well. And, oh yeah, of course, I'm we're back to a three-step brake controller. Let's have a little bit of a running brake test. We are driving in the snow, so if we are driving properly, then every three to five minutes we need to apply 50% brake and see a 10, 10 mile an hour reduction in speed limit. And that's to keep our brake rigging nice and warm and stop it getting packed up with snow and ice. So that if we're driving properly, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Um, Northern Princess Production, turns out my Train Sim World 3 can play piano fairly well. <laughs> Bluegrass is driving a 66 on Kafka as we speak. Yeah, George, some of the lists are operative, some of them aren't, and I think it's been 
it's been a little bit misleading by the fact they said the lifts work because only some of them work. Right, how many coaches do we have? Six by the looks of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're supposed to start driving very gingerly now. Yeah, DET um, didn't a class 313 so driver said he used brake step 2 and 3 on the stream. I believe so, yeah. I think step 1's pretty ineffective. Although step 1 seems quite powerful on here. It's okay. Red ahead, coming in very gingerly because uh, looks like the red's at the end of the platform there. Be looking for 20 mile an hour over the AWS magnet if we're driving it properly. And as we leave the station here as well, we'll do a, an external shot. 20 at the AWS magnet, perfecto. It doesn't snow on the platforms though, apparently. I mean, they do normally put salt down, so to be fair, we'll, uh, we'll excuse that. We'll, we'll say that's what it is. Sam Brooks, I... I I haven't, but I will have it before the next stream, Sam. Uh, Northern Princess Productions has very kindly put me together some scenarios on the Southeastern Network. Um, and I look very much forward to sharing them with you in Train Sim Classic. So we are all stopped. And the signal's changed, so we don't need to set our DRA. Body side indicator lights are mainly on. And stop at location, Falkirk High Platform. It wasn't a go via, was it? I'm sure it was a stop. Okie dokie. Right, maybe I wasn't supposed to open the doors. Okay, so stand up and it's to my right. Where am I looking, guys? Or is it to my... Ah, oh, there we... Is that it? Oh, doors close. Wow. Okay. DT, this is a proper train. I love it. That's how brakes should work. You know, idealistically, they're supposed to stop you. It is helpful when they stop you. I'll agree with you there. Let's have, from the end of Bishop's Big Platform, a nice... Ah, oh, come on. Press the right buttons, Richard. Let's have Look at the snow kicking up from underneath Okie dokie, so where are we going with this? Stop at location, Falkirk High and load passengers. Okie dokie. I've got to consult my routes learning notes to try and find out where Falkirk High is. <laughs> Which way are we going? Edinburgh to Glasgow. No, we're not. We're going Glasgow to Edinburgh. Let's go through Croy first. Knife by a kangaroo. Was you a train driver before you met your wife? I was not, no. Yeah, Sophie. I thought that, Sophie, but I, I I don't think it is. I think they are they are reds. They just don't look very red. Um, but I think they are reds on the back. I don't, I don't think they are glitched. So guys, shall we have another go at locomotive location livery?
Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Is it only letting us have 70? I thought we were allowed 75. The line speed here is faster than that, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. We'll do 70. Um, the Peak W not bought Train Simul 3 as the stuttering in Train Simul 2 drove me crazy. Does Train Simul 3 this route still stutter? If it does, it's a pity as this is my local route. I was hoping to see it modelled at some point. I've not got any stuttering. If the, if the stream is stuttering, that's an internet issue. Um, I'm currently, bearing in mind I'm streaming as well, guys, and I've got the, the camera and everything. And I'm, I'm getting, at the moment, 74 frames per second. Um, I think on the whole route, it's, it's really well optimised. So if the stream's stuttering, um, that's probably an internet kind of screen capture issue rather than a, a game issue. Um, because on, on my screen, the game looks lovely, buttery, smooth. Right, locomotive delivery location. Who are we going for? DET Trains wants number 12. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. If you haven't seen it before, guys, I'm going to give you box number 12. 10 seconds, please. Locomotive Livery and Location. Coming up. Then. C2C 720 is quite a popular one. I think we're trying to get that location down now. Any ideas on that location? Northern Princess 314 is 70, Matt. I thought it was 75, but there we go. Knife by Kangaroo, stream looks fine to me. Uh, Stuart Sampson, there is some stuttering from outside cam on the Xbox Series S version. Dad Rao, pushing the train to its limit. Train Scott, across country 170, glitch, glitch creeper, C2C. Miss Sophie misses Time Lord, Skegness. Just checking my notes as to where I'm supposed to be stopping. Um, my game is 62 frames per second on PC. Yes, currently at this very moment in time, I'm getting 75. Uh, but like I say, I, I am streaming from the same machine that I'm playing on. Um, I do have the camera and everything working, so that's that's pretty good going. So obviously that's hindering my frame rate. If I'm not streaming, I'm normally closer to 100 FPS on this. Penguin CGC 720 between Chalkwell and Lee on C. Glitch Creeper, yeah, you're probably right, to be fair. I, I just had it as 75 for some reason, but yeah, 70's alright. Cam 314 still do 70, good question. Are 314 still in service, guys, or, or have they gone completely now? Football Jack 42. The route, I that's entirely up to you. I'm not going to make a recommendation on it. At all. I'm not going to say yes or no because it's down to the individual. However, if you want an honest review and you want to, you know, well, it's not even me saying it happens because you can you can see what happens. Go back and watch watch the beginning of the stream um, when we were driving the 385, and you you'll, you'll kind of see what I mean. DT, they are gone. Penguin gone completely. Shakiro gone. Yes, yeah, seven seven sevens entered service yesterday as well. Brilliant. Finally. So guys, while we are trundling along, we will jump into the Discord server and have a quick look at what's going on over there. First time in today's stream. Oh, look, there's an aircraft carrier. Is that the new one? The QE... Oh, it's not the Queen. Is it the Queen Elizabeth? The new aircraft carrier. I'm guessing that's Portsmouth somewhere then. Fantastic picture there, Freddie. Thanks very much. And if you want to post anything in the Discord server, you can do live stream pictures page. Invitation link in the description below. Trundling along. Is 
So I think we're just coming up to Croy, if my uh, memory serves me correctly. Knife by a kangaroo, favourite pot noodle. I'm, I'm sorry, it's chicken and mushroom. King pot noodle. Can't have a normal pot noodle. It's got to be a king pot noodle. Chicken and mushroom. Uh, knife by a kangaroo. I had a curry for dinner today, actually, funnily enough. Um, ZG68, do you not get bored by not doing regular stops? Yeah, t to be fair, a run like this where we're not stopping anywhere, I do find more boring and more difficult to stream. Um, I'd much rather do a run where we're stopping, not regularly like the cross city line, I find that a little bit too full on. But, um, for example, the, the, the standard run on here, the standard express run, um, when I find my paperwork, see she's stopping at Croy, Falkirk High, Polmont, Linlithgow, um, Haymarket and then Edinburgh which is it's a really nice length of route and, and that's what I mean with this this route some of the good things about it it's a really nice length it takes about 40 50 minutes to do it there's you know there's there's about 10 miles between summer stations there's three or four miles between others it's a really nice route and it, it's really engaging there is enough going on to keep you busy which which I really really do like about it um, but a service like we're driving now oh the snow on those rocks is lovely Rivet's art team are bang on. Their art team is fantastic. Um, yeah, so there was one of the good things about the route. The length of the route is really, really nice. It's it's not so long where you get bored and there's enough going on on the route to keep you entertained. I find with some of the American routes, like Sherman Hill, um, for example, going up the hill, you just put the power on and you can literally sit there 40 minutes and, and not touch the controls, and I find that you know quite boring. Um, so a route like this, like this kind of commuter style driving, really, really suits me. Castle Wurzburg, for example, on the um, the German route, it's the same sort of thing. If you've got the, um, not piece of LZB, and you've got the um, the AFB turned on, you kind of just set it and leave it. And it's pretty much driving itself, and you're just sitting there looking out the window. So, yeah, I, it, it is good in that respect. It is good. I've got absolutely no complaints about the way this route looks I, I honestly rivets art team have done an amazing job on this credit where credit's due you know I'm, I'm I will tell you everything that's wrong with it but there's some things that are very right about it and the way it looks is one of them it, it looks gorgeous yeah British ace hey, exactly Joe as you say something like the Brighton main line is perfect a hundred percent it's a really, really nice length route. Even East Coastway. You know, you've got enough high speed running, you can do express services, you've got stopping services, and there's just enough on there to keep you busy. And I really like that kind of route. That that suits my driving style. I. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? I mean, it, it, is, it is beautiful. I'm sorry, it is. I mean, you may disagree with me. And I know we're looking at the 314 and not the 385. Credit where credit's due, guys. It is beautiful. I'll be interested to know in the chat. Let me know in the chat, just by thumbs up, thumbs down, what do you think about the way the route looks? Thumbs up if you think it looks good. Thumbs up if you think it looks bad. Look, forget about all the bugs and everything else. Just the way the route looks, the art on the route. Let, let me know what you think. By, by way of emoji. Yeah, Matt, I've, I've got no doubt about that. The um, boring, slow, long runs actually capture the state of American <laughs> freight rail. I, I'm, as most of you know, I'm a freight train driver in the UK, and it's exactly the same there. It's, you know, we can go for miles and miles and miles. Um, you know, leaving Southampton, for example, coming back towards Basingstoke. You're in notch eight, and you don't touch the controls for 20 minutes, half an hour, if you've got green signals, and it's just run, rumbling away. So I, I, I do completely and utterly get that. See, there we go, guys. That, that, it just goes to prove it. I almost want to screenshot this and send it to Rivet. You know, they'll be able to look back in the thing. Look. The art team, you all agree, the art team have got it absolutely bang on. And that makes it really, really, you know, that makes it so much more frustrating that all the other stuff's going on in the background. Because it is beautiful. 
Uh, the Poxen says there, not only is it really good looking and having travelled on it many times, it is more than passably accurate. I, I just hope, because this is a route that I would like to drive on stream more often, um, and I really, really hope... Oh, Mr. Quicko Gaming doesn't like the way it looks. There's always one that has to be different. But no, you're entitled to your opinion, bud. There's... Yeah, I, I really, really hope that they get a patch out for this quickly, just to patch some of those those um, things about it. Uh, as Jason says, unfortunately, yes, it's not all about the art. We've got to actually be able to hear good and play the game as well. No, I 100% I agree with you. Yeah, the snow with the sunlight effects, it's... It, it, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to stop fanboying the way it looks. Let's park that wiper. Um, cab beep. Cab beep or cab bep. I can take the fail so far um, if they fix it. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. They just need to get that fix out and, and get this because it's, it's got so much potential. It really has. And... Uh, I, I, I kind of I, I think they know I think I think they know that today's not gone as well as they would like to to have gone det I'm I'm yeah I'm not gonna comment on that The pox, and if you consider the mess they made of the castle version and tracing version in street, almost anything would be an improvement. <laughs> yeah, glitch creeper. I'm sure Rivet will patch anything up. Remember, it's the first day it's been out, but it, it shouldn't have come out like this glitch creeper. That's what I'm saying. You know, it these things they're not. It's not like we're finding random bugs here and there. You, you, you if you go out to the beginning of the stream, there's a lot that's being picked up on that isn't right and blatantly isn't right and that is it's such a shame it's such a shame uh, British Ace one of those things being the delayed PS release if anything should have delayed all platforms and see all these bugs and I completely agree with you Joe that you should have just delayed it on all platforms said no sorry the product's not ready it's going to be a couple of weeks I, I, I think it was to coincide with Burns Night yesterday wasn't it so that's I think that's kind of why it's come out this morning um, and I think that was kind of their, their deadline but yeah I, I completely agree Joe that's what should have happened it should have been Delay the release. Uh, Sam, you're quite right. Yeah, Rygate on London Commuter doesn't exactly look pretty, does it? <laughs> okay, guys, so coming into Falkirk High... Um, 60% of the signal after the radio tower would be my breaking point for the 385. But I would be doing considerably faster. Helga Rizvan, welcome to Dead Rock. Great to have you here. I would be going considerably faster. So two yellows. Looks like we're going to be checked down for the station anyhow. Let's get some braking. DET trains. What are the beta testers doing? They have their fingers stuck in their, in, in their, doing nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, I, I am on the beta team, so I'm not going to comment with that. Um, and I do get to see, I am privy to some of the information in the, in the private service, so I'm, I'm not going to, not going to comment on that. That is one yellow, isn't it? Yeah. I hope. The colour's looking a little bit... It is one yellow. I was saying about the signals popping, not that one, clearly. 
Yeah, Northern Princess Productions raises a good point there as well. Just remember, because a beta tester reports a bug doesn't mean it gets fixed. Devs also play what they make. Red ahead, red ahead, red ahead. Uh, looks like the red's going to be at the end of the platform, but not knowing the route particularly well yet, we will tiddly pom along. 198 of you lovely people in tonight. It is great to have you here. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be fan dabby dozy. Samuel B. Trainspot, and you do need a stream with a subscriber notification that is in is AWS DSD so we can mess with you. I like it, Sam. Naughty but nice. I like it. I like it. See, DET train, she's saying about the station light. So, yeah, that one of the issues I picked up on earlier in the earlier stream, because I streamed this morning, guys. Kenny McAlpine, welcome to Devra, new subscriber. One of the things I picked up earlier in the stream, um, in the stream this morning, was a station lighting bug. And this had happened to me on southeastern high speed, where it's like 5 o'clock in the evening. You're playing in January, so it's dark, and you've got bad weather turned on. And the station lights don't work because station light was done on time of day rather than ambient lighting level. And I seem to remember, 20 for the AWS magnet there, I seem to remember quite recently they put out a fix to the, the core game and that was supposed to have been fixed. However, it doesn't appear to have been. And that's, that's a real shame because that kind of makes, it kind of makes some of the nighttime runs difficult. If you're going to do a nighttime run, You've got to do a late night run. You can't do sort of an early evening run because the station lights won't be on. And it completely breaks the immersion of the game. Right, we are on the red, so we're going to set our DRA. We're into full service braking there, um, into neutral. Doors on the left. Jason, I remember seeing that in the patch notes. Yeah, definitely. Max, let's jump into the Discord just for you, my friend. A mugshot of Rich. Oh, apologies for that. <laughs> well done, Max. And Samuel B. Uh, if you want to post anything, live stream pictures page, Discord invitation link in the description below. And we are locking the doors. We're going to free cam, which I really am struggling with, as you can see. And we're off to Haymarket. We'll try and get a nice... Oh, I don't know how to release the DRA on the keyboard commands. Okay. Let's have another go at that, shall we? This is in honour of the British Ace, ladies and gentlemen, who's in the chat. Let's get a flyby shot. If you don't subscribe to Joe the British Ace, do head over there and give him a subscribe. Really good YouTuber. Make some really good train sim content and other content, so... Uh... We are off Falkirk Tunnel. Off to Haymarket. Um... There should have been a fix for the light. I heard it too. Yeah, no, I, I definitely remember reading it in the patch notes. Someone said, Tommy Cooper, I've never seen a double red signal. Is that common? Uh, how do you mean a double red? If you mean like a shunt signal, they're two reds. Or do you mean like a main aspect signal and another one next to it? It's quite possible that you've got a co-acting signal there as well. If, if you have a picture of what you've seen, then um, if you post it in the Discord server, I'll, I'll take a look at that for you. Dean plays TV. Hi, Richard. How's things? What do you think of the Edinburgh Glasgow? Dean, the route, and this is by unanimous decision because everyone who posted earlier, apart from one person, the route looks fantastic. It is amazing. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's buggy. And the, the 385 is really buggy. Not massive bugs. Bugs that can be quite easily fixed, and hopefully they will be fixed. Massive potential on this route, but it's buggy. It's broken. Fingers crossed, in the next week or so, we're going to get some patches for this because it's got so much potential. It's, it's someone said earlier who knows the route. It's passably accurate and it's beautiful.
Andrew, the buses are very wrong at Waverley. I was a bus driver and they were all double deckers. Blue or open top buses around there before the road was close to buses. Ah, well, there you go. The 314 is lovely. It is, is it? It is indeed. Twenty-one mile. Oh yeah, sorry, airborne. We'll try and break the twenty-one miles up a little bit without moaning about the route. Let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. It's going to be about fifteen minutes at this speed, I reckon. So, guys, if you are stopping at the next station after Falkirk High, which is Polmont, you should have the brakes in at this point. Right, what are we looking for? Locomotive livery location. I will be picking the third number on my screen, which is the way we roll around here. And today, the third number on my screen is Eliza and her West French level crossings. Let's play. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. So, guys, 205 of you lovely people in. I'm guessing some of you are new viewers. If you haven't seen this before, I'm going to give you box number seven. Ten seconds, please. Give me the locomotive livery and location. Here we go. DET trains, can you make a route lane for BCC or LC? Did you like the route learning video that I put out earlier? DET. So some of you may have seen um, I did put out a route learning video. I've done um, Edinburgh through to Glasgow and I've overlaid the names of all the junctions, uh, all the speed limits are on there, all the station names, uh, all the tunnel names, all the kind of landmarks that you need to know about. And I've also given you all the breaking points and shut-off points. So if you watch that, you can learn this route um, pretty easily. That is one thing that I really like about this route. Because of the length of it, it's really easy to learn the route. You know, there's not a million speed limit changes, there's not a million stations, there's not a million junctions. It's really easy to learn this, learn your breaking points and kind of it's a route you can master if you want to kind of get into the world of huddless driving this is a really good route to start on right what are we reckoning doopy doopy do dt try 720 c2c chalkwell uh what else we got johnny simulator gaming is saying chalkwell I think 720 C2C is pretty unanimous. We just need to kind of get that location down now, guys. Clyde Wharton is saying Dawlish. Pete Green, should we see how fast we can get the 314? Go on then, Pete. We are breaking all the rules now. It's our last day as a train driver. No, we still wouldn't do it if it was our last day. We are breaking all the rules. Let's see what we can get out of this old girl. Come on. DET's route learning on the Sutton Loop. No. I don't I don't even want to do videos about the Sutton Loop. Yeah, Ollie smiles, you say that the 385 sounds give me a headache. That that wind noise in the cab, it's too loud, it's too prominent. Um I, I can't disagree with you. I can't disagree with you. Sophie, you reckon we can get 164 out of it? Who made the 314? Is it a dovetail? Was, was Cathcart a dovetail route or is that a, a rivet? It's the farewell route tour. We're pushing it. We're seeing what we can get out of it. <laughs> I won't say it again, guys, but you know what I'm thinking. Let's get this thing on HS2. Ah, oh, so that was a dovetail. That's interesting. 385 sounds like my hoover. <laughs> Jason saying, saying farewell to your career. The thing is, Jason, if you was a real train driver and you were thinking, oh, it's me last day, sod it, and you was to do something like this, you wouldn't be just saying goodbye to your career because when you got off the train, you'd have someone waiting for you and you would be, you would be prosecuted under the Health and Safety at Work Act or the Transports Act for endangering lives. So it wouldn't be just be a case of I'm going to lose my job. You would be prosecuted for doing for driving like this. It might have topped out at 89. 
Place, place your bets now, guys. What do you reckon we're going to get? What do you reckon we're going to get out of it? Good shot across the di got, uh, viaduct. Um, Colomondelli biscuit. Oh, no, we've got 90. Knife by a kangaroo. Is it dangerous to drive trains during lighting? Not particularly, because the train acts as a Faraday cage. So the lighting, the lightning will pass around the outside of the train and go to ground. So it's not not particularly difficult. What do we reckon? In DT reckons we get 105. Sophie misses time lord reckons 100 plus. We're going uphill as well. If we go downhill with the wind behind us, can we get it off the clock? Hannah Scott's going 101. Thomas Cooper at 95 on Cathcart. Crikey. Can we get it off the clock? Blob, how would they know you were speeding? Um, so every single train is fitted with a black box, very similar to um, aeroplanes. And as drivers, you're subject to random downloads. And if you were doing this, there's going to be someone on the train who's going to be on Twitter reporting you. I got reported driving a 375. Um, coming out of Seven Oaks Tunnel, the line speed's 100 miles an hour. Someone went on Twitter, posted that I was doing 103. They've been on an app on their phone. The tweet was something like, in a rush tonight, southeast and question mark, 103 coming out of Seven, Seven Oaks Tunnel. My train got downloaded. I got called in the office. When they read the download, I was doing 99.7. So, yeah, there, there's always someone waiting to report you. We got, we, we got 95. We got 95. The brakes on this are probably better than the 385 as well. Um, we will jump in the 66 when we get to Haymarket, and that's about a 20 minute run. We'll have a little look at the 66 on the RHTT. We won't play it as an art, well, we won't be mucking around with the RHTT equipment. Um, I've done a review on that previously on the Southeast at High Speed, but we'll jump in the 66, something I'm, I'm very familiar with. Hannah Scott, evening everyone. Been lurking this morning streams, and most of this one. Brilliant, Hannah. Uh, DT, I think that's Glasgow Cathcart. Uh, Glasgow Cathcart Circle, I think. <laughs> Rail Donkey says, You wouldn't be having tea and biscuits, you'd be having handcuffs and tickets. I feel like we need a new meme now. Handcuffs and tickets. It wouldn't be chocolate bourbons. Are we going to get... I think we're off the clock, aren't we? Oh, come on. If you are just joining us and you wonder what's going on, we're doing the 314 service, but um, we're just amusing ourselves at the moment. Just kind of... Junction derail is turned on, actually. Let's hope it doesn't. We're, we're just amusing ourselves. We don't normally drive trains at excessive speeds and, and muck around. These streams are normally reasonably serious, but we're, uh, we're having a bit of a laugh as it's a Thursday night. Glitch Creeper 385's trains are rubbish at braking. Even Matt from Dive Time could not stop it. We are motoring. We're off the clock. We, we will have to slow down at some point. Let's do 105. Come on. Is it going to get there? Is it going to get there? Place your bets now. So, 201 of you lovely people in tonight, guys. If you haven't already, please, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be awesome. This is professional driving, crazy plays. It's, it's, yeah, it's 100% not. Are we going to keep going? Oh, no, let's keep going. Come on. We've broken enough rules. What's, a, what's another one? We're already going to prison when we get to when we get to Edinburgh, so we might as well just keep going. We're going downhill now as well. That's always helpful. <laughs> the wheels are glitching out though. The pixelated wheels. That's quite interesting. <laughs> Make the clock spin around, yeah. This is the... 
30, is it 36 arch viaduct or 38 arch viaduct? Hashtag dad derail. We are going to put the brakes in as we come through uh, Edinburgh Park in a minute. And we'll slow the train down to a more sensible speed and um, we're going to be ridiculously early. So we're probably going to have to wait there. Uh, Anna, that's a good question. How much can the black box store? We're shutting off, guys. That's it. How much can the black box store? Um, I think it's about a week's worth of data. Oily, Oli snap, Oli smile. The 385 pouring just then sounded like someone blowing into a mic. I love the, the dynamic weather effects and the fog and stuff there, which of course is a Trainsing World free thing rather than the route, but it's worth mentioning it does look um, does look extremely pretty. Uh, Dionion Sun sorry I can't say I'm gonna call you I'm gonna call you Dion. Pixelated wheels are due to broken motion blur effects. Hey Zeggy, well why have you been told off? What have you been doing? Driving it like a West Coast driver. Emotional damage. All views and opinions expressed in this stream are solely my own. That's not the button I was looking for. That one there. All views and opinions are solely my own. And it's just a bit of a laugh. Right, we're five miles out. Let's slow down to a more sensible speed. Let me rail donkey. Let me check Twitter. Uh, Charlie, there's been some fixes gone out on the Xbox today. I, I don't have an Xbox. I'm a PC player, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure um, whether there has or not, if I'm being really honest with you. Oh, it feels like we're going really slow now. Let's do a 66 speed run. 66 is when you get to 78, no... 70 out 79 miles an hour. They chat the emergency brakes in in real life. Um, so you can't overspeed. Uh, Jason says there. Uh, Charlie, you were asking. Jason says TMS is not yet operational. Other than a workaround on Xbox. Updated build expected soon. Oh, the light bloomers we come through there. Even though we've been speeding, we're not actually going to be that early into Haymarket. That's quite surprising. Um, as we go through Edinburgh Park, which is where we have the trams. I'm yet to see a tram. I did. I in the stream we done earlier, we stood there for about five minutes, but didn't see one. Uh, have we passed Edinburgh Park? We've just gone through it now, um, Anna. So, let's have another round of locomotive location delivery. And then I think we'll have a reveal on that one. So I think we're quite unanimous in what the locomotive and the livery is. We're trying to find out what the uh, location is. So, post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. And like I say, we're going to jump in the 66 and have a little go on that. Are there anything, is there anything in the route in particular that you guys would like to see? It's, it's kind of your stream. It's your opportunity to, to have a look at the route. Um, funnily enough guys in this direction in the 314 I don't think I've kind of I think there was one thing wasn't there but I don't think I've kind of picked up anything that's that's glitchy I think I think it's it's very much that the train needs a little bit of working on um, NG you're the first one on my screen number 8 let's play locomotive livery location give your box number 8 guys 10 seconds please give me the locomotive livery and location <laughs> This will be the last round on this one. Yeah, last round on that one. We'll do a reveal. Let me know what you think it's going to be. Walk around Eastfield Depot. Okay, we uh, walk around Waverley again. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, once we get to Waverley at this end, remind me before I click off, because I will forget. 
and we'll go for a walk around. Um, we'll go for a little walk around Waverley and play the piano and look at the lifts. Uh, DT Trains is going Chalkwell, 720 Chalkwell, Johnny Simulator Gaming. Um, DT, is this a record? 213 concurrent viewers. No, because we got 214 now. Rail Donkey's gone Devon. Uh, Dennis, Frank, do we have freight in this? We do not. So we've got a Class 66 with a railhead treatment train service. That is the only freight that we've got, uh, which is not even proper freight, is on this route. And I believe in real life that is correct. Um, I believe this, this route is not not used by freight uh, in real life. Uh, train's got a walk around Haymarket. Uh, Glitch Creeper, have you been a guard on the 385 yet? Yeah. <laughs> Guarding the 385 kind of didn't work. Um, how can I put this politely? So one of the other things on the 385 is if you're in guard mode and the train's driving along, you can just casually open the doors and jump out. Yeah, I know, I know. I suppose if we get some braking, we don't want to spad. We do want to make it to Edinburgh. Um, Cola Mondelli, biscuit, bit foggy. Yeah, I love it though. It's really atmospheric. I've driven 31.4 miles in a class 314. Hey, I told you I hadn't played it very much. Yeah, we can certainly have a walk around the station, guys. We, we can do that. That's no issue at all. Um, I'm not in a massive hurry to finish up on the stream tonight. So all the time you guys are watching and enjoying it, we can uh, we can keep going and we can um, we can certainly have a look around at these things. Got no issue with that at all. We should be 20 going over that magnet. That that would be not quite tea and biscuits, but if you got downloaded and, and you weren't doing 20 over the magnet, you're going to get pulled up for that. Apparently we should have... Oh no, because Haymarket is bugged. Okay, right, let, let me show you this. Haymarket is bugged. Because I should have stopped. Look at the top left. I should have stopped 50 yards ago. Okay, I think you can all see that. I should have stopped 50 yards ago. I'm going to open my doors. Now... Uh, how should we do this? We'll do it in front. We'll do it in the camera. I should have stopped 50 yards ago. There is no stop car marks on this platform. Okay, that's not so bad in this direction. 50 yards ago would have worked out okay. But when we had an 8 car um, 385, if I'd stopped where it wanted me to stop, I would have been hanging off the edge of the platform. But yeah, if we, if we come up here very slowly, you will see... There are no stop car markers. But it is what it is. Okie dokie, let's lock door. We're still on a red. You shouldn't lock doors while you're sitting on a red signal. That that wouldn't be um That wouldn't be the done thing. You would wait for the signal to clear. Thomas Cooper, let's see the trams. We'll head over there and see if we, we can. Yeah, Peter Green, how are we late? I mean, after I slowed down, I was kind of, you know, I, I wasn't exactly going fast, so. But I, I do hear you. I do hear you. Um, Jason, Scott Rowe tweeted about you, Rich. Check Discord. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. So, guys, if this is the first stream you've seen by me, then I am a freight train driver based in... My name's Richard, and I'm a freight train driver based in the southeast of England and a former passenger train driver. Um, and I'm a, four, a father to four wonderful children, which is where the Dad Rao name comes from. So if you're wondering if I'm the father of railways or something, absolutely not. I'm just a doting father with four wonderful children who don't like trains. But there we go. And if this is the first stream you've seen by me, and you're still here, then please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. I have a little wager with my son going at the moment. Um, I need to get to 16,500 subscribers before Valentine's Day. If I don't, I've got to buy him 2,800 um, Fortnite... What's the Fortnite things? V-Bucks or something like that. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to be doing that. We got a green. What is what is Scott Ralph saying about me, bud? 
did I say anything? To, I, I mean, I was moaning that their trains run late, but I've, I've never travelled on Scott Rail, so I've got no right to complain. Being very defensive now, in case someone from Scott Rail is, uh, <laughs> is listening. Uh, Gordon, when playing the route with the 101 EMU, they don't have the right sounds when playing the route. I'm the driver and the guard person at the same time. Glitch creeper, that's sad that your children don't like. I've got, I've got a four-year-old glitch creeper, and I'm, I'm we're coming up for, and I'm, I'm hoping that he will have a liking of trains. There is, a, there is a video, funnily enough, um, of my wife when she was pregnant, standing in front of a speaker, and I'm blasting Thomas the Tank Engine tune at her. So <laughs> it doesn't appear to have worked at the moment. Airborne GR, don't do that, <laughs> please. Uh, check Discord, it's in live stream pictures. We are going towards a red, are we not? Let's stop at this red and then we'll have a look. That is pretty cool if they have, though. Uh, right, we're going on to a yellow. Hey, John Nelson, welcome to Dad Rail. Great to have you here, bud. Uh, Discord. <laughs> oh, well done, guys. Come on. You trolled me. I, f I thought I got a genuine genuine mention by Scott Rail then. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. Credit where credit's due. Oh, wrong button. Let's find the right button. <laughs> Excellent. Come on, guys. As Knifed by a Kangaroo points out, 2,800 V-Bucks is around £16. Let's save Dad Ralph 16 quid. If you save me 16 quid, I could spend that money on an AP enhancement pack. So next time I stream something on Train Sim Classic, you won't have to put up with the awful sounds. <laughs> that's low. Sorry, I know that's really low. I shouldn't stoop to those levels. I do apologise. Hey, LW Round, no worries, bud. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Um... Colomondelli Biscuit, the signals are grey on the HUD because I have the little signal indicator things turned off. Um, the, is it me or does the ballast look ever so slightly weird in here? TET trains. We want the £16 to fix the glitches in this room. Someone, hey, James Laird, welcome, welcome to Dad Rail. Is it Laird or Lard? I think it's Laird. Welcome to Dad Rail, bud. Great to have you here. Um... DT train, we want the £16 to fix the glitches in this route. Someone's going to set up a Just Giving page for Rivet Games. Please fix the route. <laughs> it's the, the route has got massive potential though, hasn't it, guys? Like I, I said, it has got massive potential. Um, it just needs to be fixed. Neutral, and we should be in full service. Wouldn't it be ironic if I got a gold medal for this? And we are going to go and have a look around the station as well. Um, we'll return to free roam after we've got our score. Yeah, Blob, I, I believe another lighting bake is in order. I believe that is something they've said is going to happen. <laughs> we probably get a gold medal after speeding. Uh, in real life, Waverly Ballast is a salmon-y pink colour. It's just the textures just look a bit weird. Oh, look at that speeding. Do, 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 do. Still managed to get a bronze. I mean, come on. That is pretty awesome. We like doing 30 mile an hour over the speed limit and we still manage a bronze medal. I mean, yeah. Jason, if you got a gold medal here, I quit. Nor... Northern Princess Productions. Thank you very, very much. No one has to subscribe anymore. I've covered my losses. Ah, oh, it's very kind of you. You're, you're far too kind. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, no, I didn't press free roam. I was meant to press free roam. Okie dokie. What we'll do... We will go into... 
uh, I need to do this in the route, don't I? So let's go to choose a route. Edinburgh, Glasgow. Timetables on foot. Can we go back? Edinburgh, Waverley, 10 o'clock, blah, 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 blah. Play now. We go 10.05 because there's a 10.14 departure from the station. Um, so that gives us nine minutes to kind of have a look around the station. And then we, we will conduct up to... We'll do what we did in, did in the stream earlier. We'll conduct up to Edinburgh Park. Have a look around Edinburgh Park. Then we'll jump in that 66 um, to finish. So... I mean, I think I think Waverley looks nice. I I gen I've never been to Waverley. I've been to Glasgow Central. Um, I've never been to Waverley. Let's let's do the piano thing first. Superb! Uh, Matt, you subscribed. Welcome, bud. Great to have you here. I love that the name on the piano there is kind of a um, an acronym of, of Yamaha. Is it an acronym, the word I'm looking for? Yeah, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, Kevco Coffee. Reed and Son, which is clearly WH Smith's. I, I've got to point this out if you didn't see the stream earlier on. See, that's what I mean with like attention to detail and little quirky things. Rivet are really good at that. And it, Rivet Flakes, Rivet Hoops, Rivet Pops, Rivet Farms Food, clearly Heinz Baked Beans. Look at that. Rivet Bang. Bang, and the bugs are gone. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Excellent. Love it, love it. Um, Rivet Perfume as well. Eau de Toilette. Now, some people have said, is that an Easter egg to the fact that in the next train rivet model, we're going to have a working toilet? Yeah. Please stay vigilant and watch your bag. Stuart will try and steal it. We don't know who Stuart is. And now I think this is a bit tongue in cheek. Um, obviously, we know that, that there is a bit of an alcohol problem in Scotland. You know, the Scottish people here, I'm not saying that in a derogatory way, um, you know, in Glasgow and Edinburgh, there, there, there is. An alcohol problem, and I, I just wonder. Micro cow found on Scottish farm. That's pretty awesome. Coming up, local drunk stuck in glass elevator, then refuses to leave. I, I just wonder if that's kind of a little bit of local drunk. It's just, it's almost a little bit. Ooh, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I, I, I could be completely wrong, but it's like with the scenario, isn't it? That's a bit kind of, you know. Really nice details on the, the, the pillars there. So, what, what platform is our train going from? Um, 10.07. we got the 10.17. We'll probably aim for that one, uh, which gives us 10 minutes just to have a look round. Edinburgh Waverley. Ticket machine there. You can go out up the station ramps, which we will we'll venture up in a minute. Um, all of these places are kind of closed off. Uh, so if we go through here, when you've got when you've got the right lighting, um, the reflections coming through the station roof are really nice when the lighting's in the right direction. So we can come into like the travel centre ticket office there. There's a haggis, three of twenty-five collected. We should have iron brew in the shop as well, surely. Um, it's all pretty nicely modelled in there, which is which is nice sort of attention to detail wise. Um, is he going to let us through that way? It's not. I did try that earlier. I should know. Um, yeah, look. It 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 looks pretty. It looks pretty. I'm almost disappointed that the escalators don't work. Because as I'm sure you know, the lifts do. So. Oh, lovely views of the station down there. Yeah, the, the lifts do, as I'm sure you know. And we can walk right along and then down onto the platforms. Let's take the lift. The elevator. The elevator. 
need some dodgy elevator music as we're going down. That's the best I can do in some ways. No, stop! Find the right button. There we go. Working elevators. But not all of them are working, only some of them. So we'll, we'll quickly jump up here. Um, I'm aware that our train's going to be leaving soon, so we all go and have a look. Uh, only one lift works here. We're off. Matt Smith, well, they went to town on this, didn't they? Is that modern day Scotland? Those computers look like 20 years ago. So, yeah, uh, as someone said, the buses are. I'm, I'm not going to get kind of. I'm not, that doesn't bother me too much, to be fair. I, I love this weather fork. Le Rivet Office and Weather Fork. I like the fact that the Rivet Office is in a weather fork. We've also got another haggis here. But I can't collect that one. I think I may have already collected it. And you can jump up onto this platform and you get a lovely view of the station. And of course, if we look behind us, we've got, where am I looking? The castle up there as well. Which looks lovely. So it's really nice you can you can come out the station and, and have a look at that. Car driving past up the top there. Weather fork. I love that weather fork. Yeah, the, the area surrounding Waverley does look really nice. Um, th I mean, the, the, the bounds boxes, as far as you can go, is, is not massive. But, you know, there's, there's enough there. There's enough. It's a shame that these glass elevators don't work. Um, I mean, if they did, we could pretend we were a local drunk and get stuck in one. Okay, am I missing something? Oh, there we go. Okay, right. I was just thinking we can't get out there. Right, okay, so let's find the train. Let's go and do a little bit of conducting. We're going to do two stations of conducting um, down to Edinburgh Park, if we can get it to work. 10.17 to Glasgow Queen Street. Um, where are you stopping? Are you a stopper? Haymarket, then Linlithgow. Oh, that's not... That's not where we want to be going. Um, is there anything else going out? What time are the 03 services? Calling out Haymarket, Linlithgow. So what train stop at Edinburgh Park? There's got to be one that stops at Edinburgh Park. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly missing something, guys. Tell me in the chat, what's stopping at Edinburgh Park? Everything's Haymarket and Lithgow, isn't it? You should run around the stations of the Benny Hill music, says Gregory Allen. <laughs> Could do. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, we don't want to wait here till... So, 10.17. It's 10.13 now. Let's... Go back to the main menu and respawn in. Um, to the trains. Choose a route. That one there. On foot. Edinburgh Waverley. And we'll we'll come in at 10.15. And hopefully that should give us long enough to go and find a train and try and do some conducting. Uh, Ollie Smale. In real life, tr uh, Dunblane trains stop at Edinburgh Park. But I don't think they do in game. Steam Gamer, do you know why the 385 is not in the training centre? Um, I've got a funny feeling it's something to do with they can't, they, they don't have an unlimited amount of space in training centre, so they can't add every single new train into it. That something like that's been said before, um, which is a little bit of a shame. Okay, platform 11A. It's over this way, isn't it? Let's go. Let's go and conduct a train. This is the most pointless gate line ever. It really is. So we're going to be this train here. And we should just wait for the AI to do its thing. So we're 11.17 departure. The AI should open the doors pretty soon. Platform 5, what is your favourite route training? Train World 3. If it's Train World 3 specifically, then I've got to say the Cross City 
um, and the 323. Um, if you're talking train sim world overall, then probably London, almost certainly London commuter. Right, we're going to jump into the driver's cab. And we are going to press. No, 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 open the door. Okay. Right, there is a door handover button there. If we press that. Armin VD Grat, the Dutch Italian, welcome to Devro. If we press that, that now hands over controls to the conductor. And there's a conductor's panel there, which we can open up. So we now have control of this. So we can put. Let's turn the panel on. Open doors right. Now, in real life on this train, the driver does open the doors and the guard closes them. So the body side indicator lights, the bill lights here, should be illuminated when the doors are open. But, alas, they're not. 10.17 departure. Why are the doors closing? Is he just playing sound effects? Is door mode, guard mode kind of... So I should be... Okay, so... Right, let's let's just roll with it for a minute because I haven't quite mastered this yet. Uh, local door close, and then signal. Right, I don't know if that was me or that that was just coincidental. Okay, so let's key off, and go and check some tickets. Right, <laughs> there is there is a lack of AI driver. It's driving itself. It's driving itself. So the train interior doesn't look too bad. Again, uh, hello, how are we doing? Tickets, please. Um, if we're playing British Railways on Roblox, then we do have to go and check tickets. Why is it stopped? I'm guessing there's a red signal up ahead. For whatever reason. Hopefully we're going to start moving off again in a minute. Let's just check to see what's going on. What are we waiting for here? <laughs> they updated APO, says Fabian. How are you doing, Fabian? I haven't seen you in a stream for a little while. Autonomous train. Dispatch against the red. Tea and biscuits, definitely. For me, that is, yeah. <laughs> Why I'm still sitting on a red is it's because that train there's coming in. So we're going to have to wait. All rivet routes seem not to have AI drivers. That's probably a little bit of a shame. Accessible toilet. Toilet door controls. No, it doesn't work. First class. Ah, this is more my scene. As I'm acting as the conductor, should I sit in the back cab or should I sit in first class? Where, where, would, where would a Scott Rail conductor normally be? Of course they would be standing by the door panel, patrolling the train, doing their job properly. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Lift man, Amma 6969, what company do you work for in real life? I work for a freight company that have blue trains. Johnny Simulator Gaming is going back cab, DET first class. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen, okay. Working blinds as well is, is quite a nice touch in first class. To hide the uh, the glorious Scottish countryside. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but never mind. First class. Right, so one of the issues i found, and you might have noticed it already. What's going on with this? Let's just, like, oh, okay, it's, maybe there's been an update since this morning when I was playing this. Earlier on, this was clickable. Okay, there, there's, there has possibly been an update to the game, although I'm, spoke too soon. 
This is a new hop on hop off feature that's being fitted to all ScotRail trains in order to reduce station dwell time. Yeah, this is this is genuinely not supposed to happen. This this is not good, is it? Not good at all. Anyway, NG number eight, locomotive location livery. Let's play locomotive livery location. Uh, we've had number eight, guys. I'm gonna give you number. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna give you number nine. Let me have your final thoughts on this. Door closed. There we go. Let me have your final thoughts on that one, guys, and I'll do a reveal in a few moments. Again, lighting going through the tunnel. It, it looks nice. It looks nice. It's pretty. Oh, okay. We're kind of bugging out a little bit there. It looks pretty. It just doesn't work. Yeah, Steam Gamer 123. Exactly that, bud. Exactly that. They, they need to fix the bugs. It's quite amusing, though. We won't get too close to the edge. Okay, guys, let's do a reveal on that locomotive location livery because we do have two rounds of that. Knife by Kangaroo's also sent a picture in, so let's do a reveal one. Let's time. play locomotive livery location. And I think a couple of people have got this right. The one I can see on my screen at the moment is David B five eight one four. It's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. Who has got us down as a 720 at Leon C. Well done, bud. And a couple of other people got that as well. So if you did get that, well done. Fantastic. Excellent. Brilliant. So I'm going to press my reset button. And I'm not going to reveal the answer of the second game because I do have a habit of doing that. So we are going to ride down to Edinburgh Park. I don't want to take control of the train. I just kind of want to be here. Even, so even though I've pressed the door handover button, is it still going to... Oh, this could be a unique view, couldn't it? I should have filmed the route learning video from this position. We're off. That's a unique view of the route. We're actually going to jump out at Edinburgh Park. The train doesn't stop there. We are literally going to jump out. Because um, I want to see a tram. And then we will jump in the 66, guys. And that will that will probably be the end of the stream. Um, Shakira King, I'm going to bed now. No worries, bud. Thank you very, very much for joining us. I really do appreciate it. Still got 191 of you lovely people here tonight. If you haven't already, please, please do hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And help me not have to buy my son V-Bucks. Because that would be tragic. Why would I want to support Fortnite? <laughs> Yeah, so I, I think we've had a good time today, guys. We've, we've kind of looked at the route. Um, I've given my thoughts on it. I'm, I'm, I've genuinely got my fingers crossed that, that the bugs do get fixed pretty quickly. Um, it's it's very much schoolboy era bugs, if you like, isn't it? So I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely um, hoping that they do get fixed pretty quickly. This is a nice view. I like this. This, this is a better view than what you get from the 385. This, this looks pretty good. We've got to try and... Uh, Andy H, yeah, Lynn Lifko, sorry. I, I'm i really bad with pronunciations. Check out my videos I've done in Germany and Portugal uh, to see just how bad I am. Scott Rao guards always seem to be running around like headless chickens in real life. Uh, Sophie Mrs. Time Lord, is it me or are the sounds better from that position? Yes, they are! I think. Hey, James Higginbotham. Welcome to Deborah, only subscriber. Can we open this door while we're going along? No, we can't. So, just going off to our right are the lines to Fife. So, if you've played Fife Circle on Trains in Classic, um, that is where you'll be looking, uh, where you'll be heading off to. 
I kind of need to get to a side door so we can jump out. I, I kind of don't want to jump out the front. What if I press the emergency stop button in the cab? Will it work? Maybe not because I'm not in charge of the train. Okay, we're getting ready to we're getting ready to jump. Here we go. As soon as we see the station. Come on. It's coming up. We've got the tram lines in front of us. It must be coming up. This train will be stopping at Edinburgh Park. Come on, come on, come on. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Somewhere. It's going to be when I least expect it. Ow. Okie dokie, that is the express way to get to Edinburgh Park. Am I going to be lucky and see a tram though? Because I'm, I have yet to see a tram. So the bounds of the game, um, with regards to the tram lines, it lets you come to here, and that's your lot. You can't get any closer than that, and you can't walk up towards the shelter there. Um, that is all completely blocked off. So if we press, I'm not sure if the trams show up on the map, but let's press 9, and we'll bring the interactive map up. Yeah, so I, I don't think the trams show up. I, I don't know if they're, they're they're probably kind of just like moving objects, or I, I don't I don't know how kind of what the setup is with that. So let's go and have a quick look around Edinburgh Park, and then we'll jump in the um, sixty six. So we do have working lifts here at Edinburgh Park as well. So let's use those because it'd be rude not to, right? Uh, the trams are random. Trams are seven minutes in each direction. Trams are on the map. Okay. Uh, you can guarantee the trams are going to come when I'm not there looking, though. <laughs> we'll have to keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. Um, cross the bridge. Again, it's pretty, isn't it? It genuinely is. Even off into the distance that they've modelled buildings that, that are quite far away that you're not really going to see from, from the train. We won't use the lift. We'll, we'll, we'll go down the stairs. Again, you've got your ticket machines there. It Yeah. So red doors, if you don't know already, guys. Red doors with staff only. You can... You can go inside. And I've already found that haggis in the games earlier. Rivet Games Scotland. This side up. Excellent. And no doubt they have a, a bottle of Rivet Bang there. Which is, which is quite a nice touch. It's quite a nice touch. So if you missed the time loss, thanks for lightening the mood today, Richard. Been much needed. No worry. No worries. Peter Green, I stayed at the Premier Inn overlooking the station. It looks amazing for sure. Reminds me of the feelings of loading up Tracy Well for the first time after the old sim, says Matt Smith. We'll head back over. Let's use the lifts. We'll head back over and see if we can see a tram. And if we can't, we'll load up the 66 run and then we'll call it a night, guys. Um, any trams coming? Any trams coming? I really want to see a tram. Let's go down in the lift as well. Um, okay, it's already there. That's awfully nice. Uh, tram station. Yeah, we're not we're not going to wait around here for too long. We'll wait for a little bit longer and we will do our first round of locomotive location delivery for picture number two. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. 
<laughs> we will finish locomotive, the first round of locomotive delivery location and then we'll move on. Someone wanted to have a quick look at Eastfield's depot. I'm not sure how much of that we can walk around, but we will certainly go and have a look. Ah, oh, tram, 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 tram. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we found a tram. They don't look half bad. If only you could drive them. There's not even a bug where we can jump. Even the inside's modelled. Oh. Is that an Easter egg? To suggest we're going to get a tram route for Train Sim World 3. Tram Sim World 3. Who knows? We can but hope. We can but hope. Okay, guys. We'll do this uh, locomotive location every round and then we'll move on. Uh, okay, so I always go for the third number on my screen, which happens to be Pig and Bob number 13. <laughs> Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Knife by a Kangaroo is your picture provider, number 13, as Pig and Bob suggested. Uh, that gives you everything you need to guess it in one square. Oh, someone's going to get it straight away. NG says Matt has hinted he wants trams in the past. Oh. Excellent, excellent. Ollie Smell, the, the one route I would want to come to the game, and it's because I am biased, would be extending the East Coastway to Ashford and putting a 171 in it. Um, and I know that's something they have looked at before. <laughs> I, I think it's far too easy, guys. The, these Last week's were really challenging. These ones have been really easy today. Okay, I am going to... Richard's got to eat, so I'm going to chuck an advert in. And while you're watching the advert... I am going to load up the 66 run. So see you after. I will see you after the commercial break. If you're not seeing an advert, then you have an ad blocker, or you're one of the lucky ones. Uh, do you want to quit to main menu? Yes. Doobie dooby doo. Doobie dooby doo. Doobie dooby 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 doo. Um, okay. So, oh, we can do Eastfield's Depot. Right. We'll have a quick sprint round Eastfield's Depot because someone did ask me earlier and then we will get in that um, that 66. Tram Sim Berlin isn't too bad. Tram Sim's quite expensive though, isn't it? For, for what it is. Um, which is why I kind of haven't gone down that road. So here we are, Eastfield's Depot. Oh, people. Hello. In full high vis. Excellent. Yeah, this is quite pretty. This this doesn't look too bad at all. Of course, when they done uh, Lurs and Cersei, which is it's obviously um, Rivet Games as well, they did they did do inside the depot, didn't they? It's looking pretty nice, to be fair. Lots of three eight fives to go and play on. Have they all got different numbers though? Zero zero six, one zero six. Yeah, they're all, all individually numbered, which is quite nice. Uh, Andy H, no, you can't do the low-level route from Glasgow to Edinburgh. Unfortunately, you've only you've got what's modelled uh, in the game, and that's it. Well, I'm um, pretty much what I've showed you today. It looks good. That, that, like I said earlier, the fact that it looks good is, is even more irritating. It makes the fact that we've got bugs in it that much more frustrating. Yeah, there we go, guys. Eastfield Depot. Which does look pretty guy, pretty nice. Quite happy with that. Okie dokie, let's drive a train because that's what we're here for. Um... Let's jump in that 66. Which we'll do the 66 run. To the trains. Train depot. Timetable. Um, oh, I should have done it the other way around, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do it the other way around. Choose a route. Edinburgh, Glasgow. Timetable. 66. Um, the RHTT one. This is an early morning run as well. Edinburgh Haymarket to 
full Kirk Grahamston, which is a 23 minute run. Um, so we'll finish this run, guys, and then that'll be it for the stream. There's still 190 of you in, which I'm really, really grateful for. Um, it's, it's fantastic, guys. Really, really great to have so many of you watching this evening. Um, because it's 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to do this in July. Typically, RHTTs don't run in July, but I, I'm quite aware of that station lighting bug. So hopefully, um, hopefully the station lighting is not going to be too bad. Hopefully, we've got a little bit of daylight creeping in there. Uh, Debra, does Haymarket Depot have an interior? I don't know, Train uh, train Scotter. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, beautiful time of day to be driving. Now, of course, you all know what the 66 looks like and the, um, the RHTT wagons. It would appear the train is set up to depart the wrong way, though. That's... Yeah, so okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to do some playing before we can depart. I've walked five miles. I would walk five hundred miles, and I would walk five hundred more. A bit of Proclaimers. I do like the Proclaimers. Not just that song, but Sunshine Over Leaf is a good song. Okay, yeah, we still got whites on the back here, so let's off tail lights. Tail lights don't come up, which is really annoying. Okay, straight air brake is off. Everything in that cab is as we would expect to be. Parking brake is in the opposition. Um, brake should be cut out. Brakes are cut out. Excellent. So that cab is good to go now. Really annoying that the, the tail lights haven't come on. I don't know what's causing that, but we're we're run with it. We're just getting and drive a train. Sunshine on Leaf is good. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I quite like the Proclaimers. Was it Letter from America as well? I think is. I know the songs. I don't necessarily know the titles though. Okie dokie. Right, let's get this one set up. So, if you don't know how to do the 66, I've got a whole tutorial on the 66. Uh, passenger timings is good. Brake cutout. Select. Oh, it's already cut in. Oh, it's already good to go then. Okay, right. So, we just need some lights. Day running, key in, into forward. Oh, that's annoying. Safety system isolations are only in the number one end of the train, so we're just going to venture up there and put the um, AWS in. And the DSD, which is there. Now the 66 has got a few shortcomings of its um, of its own, but I won't. Is that what signal? What signal am I taking? Is that my signal? Proceeder signals indicate. But what signal's mine? Oh, we must have a ground position. Okay, well, let's just go with it because I'm I, I'm I'm a bit lost now. We've got it to move. That's a good start. Hey, Londa Spark. Hello. How are you doing? We'll turn on the RHTT equipment because why not? Um, Although that is, the whole way the controller works is completely and utterly inaccurate. But don't worry about that. Yeah, not good. Uh, not bad on this, folks. Not bad. It's not jetting. Okay, well, don't worry about that. So I'm guessing that's not my signal. So that's my ground position light signal on the left, on the right hand side coming up. I'm I'm guessing. I have no route knowledge, so 
Yeah, London Spark. I, if you can get it cheap, it's it's a good package. It it does add a couple of extra layers and a couple of extra services on on some of the routes. Um, it adds like on the Cross City, it adds services on the on this. It obviously adds a couple of services on the South East and High Speeds. It adds a couple of services. So it, it, yeah, it, it's it's worth getting. I, I reckon it's worth getting. So RBX two three three. If we're talking about the RHTT, um, normally the driver has nothing to do with it. You'd have someone sitting next to you who operates the the equipment. So that is called a Catron, um, and the RHTT operator has that. Uh, they turn the machine on and off when you're going over points. Um, the reason they do that is because you jet at such high pressure, and the points are obviously greased up. They're lubricated. If you jet through the points, and there's a possibility you're going to wash all that grease off the track. So that's that's why they turn it off. And also when you come to a stand, again because the pressure's so high. If you're jetting when you come to a stand, you can jet through the rails. It can literally cut holes in them. So that, that's why you do it. You do that. But normally the driver has absolutely nothing to do with it. You'll have someone sitting next to you who will be holding that device um, and, and dealing with all that. So railhead treatment trains are permitted to run at 60 miles an hour. I need to click the button button to turn it on. I've already done that. Oh, activate controller. Okay, that's... A little bit weird. Why is it letting us go for 100? That's... Yeah. Engine start. This, this is not how these work in real life, the, the controllers. It looks the same, but the buttons are, are not exactly as, as you would expect them to be. And then turn all of those on. For example, you wouldn't have the sand eye and the water on at the same time. Well, you might do, but... Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> Uh, George, depends on the it depends on the contract. To be completely honest with you, so it could well be someone from Network Rail, or it could be um, someone who works for the train operator. Or it could be agency staff uh, contractor that's been brought in to do it. So yet, yeah, um, so the the RHTT services are a Network Rail service, but obviously the um, the hauliers, so GB Rail Freight, DB Cargo, Freightliner, etc., provide the locomotives and the crews to, to pull them around. Um, so yeah, be down to whatever's in the contract really. Point should be graphite, not grease. This train simulator driver. Uh, Caledonian Queen is tempted to get the RHTT. Probably get in the next. Yeah, like I say, it does add a couple of scenarios here and there, and a couple of extra timetable services. So it, it's certainly not a bad thing to have. It's certainly not a bad thing to have. Uh, RBX two three three. Have you ever driven RHTT in real life? You far too many times, my friend. Far too many times. Um, so I'm a freight train driver in the southeast, and, and part of our duties during the autumn season is to drive railhead treatment trains. Normally the ones I drive have got um, class 73 locomotives on them. However, I have driven them with class 69 locomotives and class 66 locomotives as well. So, um, uh, Londo Spark says a fiver for the RHTT pack. If it's a fiver, it, it's a good, it's, yeah, go for it. I, I think I think for a fiver you can't really go wrong. I, I think that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty reasonable deal. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Uh, Norman Princess Plus, I think this is an MPV diagram, but I know they don't go into Haymarket. Ah, fair, fair point, fair point. Hey, Platform 5, I'm super happy because I'm at 98 subscribers now. Okay, guys, Platform 5 has 98 subscribers. Can we make it? Let's, let's, let's get 98 over the 100 mark. Platform 5 who has just commented in the chat, click on him, go to his his or her channel, go to their channel, and subscribe. Let, let's, come on, let's help someone out. Let's get it over 100. Platform 5, let me know if it works. Right, what have we got? Third number on the screen is Pig and Bob with, num you're very good at this Pig and Bob, number 8. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Give you number eight, guys. Ten seconds, please. Locomotive delivery and location. <laughs> What's you thinking? Let me know what you're thinking is. 
Hey, Tushar Dweed, welcome to Dad Brown. I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong there. Oh, look, look at the Skylar. Oh, it's... It's too beautiful to be bad. That's the problem. I Let's do a bit of train spotting from the field. I did put reds on the back. They're just not working for some reason. <laughs> what are we reckoning? Uh, DT is going to Huddersfield. Johnny Simulator Gaming he reckons it's Huddersfield. Oh, the su look at the glare coming through there. That is... It's either sun glare or it's glitching out. I'm going to go sun glare. Uh, Londo Spark says crew. TPE says Huddersfield. Uh, 185. RBX233 is going York. Glitch Cooper, I think I know the station. I just forgot what it's called. No, we're going to we're going to play this one properly. Um, DT. We'll, we'll we'll do this one at 60. I, t I tell you what, we'll, 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 we'll split the difference. We'll take it up to 75, because uh, 66s are allowed to do 75. Although railhead treatment train wagons are normally limited to 60. So we'll be semi-realistic. Platform 5, Dabra, thank you so much. I'm at 104 now. No worries, bud. Pleased I could help. So coming past the farm buildings on the right there is an indication we're getting near to 36 or 38 arch viaduct. I can't quite remember the name. And we're going to do lots of outside shots here because it's... With the lighting and the time of day, it, it's pretty. It's pretty. Let's go and stand near the signal. And then coming across the viaduct, of course, that definitely warrants a, an outside view. That, that screenshot, whatever that is, just there. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I'm, the, the route looks lovely. It's such a shame. All the other stuff going on with it is such a shame. It really is. Yeah, Platform 5, nice view there, definitely. Uh, RBX three two three three. What is the speed limit through Worting Junction? Um, I'm normally class four when I go through there, so I do seventy five. I I can't quite remember to be honest with you. It's over seventy five because if it's over seventy five, I tend to forget about it um, because I, I I never have to worry about it. Actually, it might be seventy through there. Ooh, it's an RHTT, is indeed. DET, you, you are you are very much in favour of the Use Valley Viaduct. Down Greenhill Goods Loop. Uh, hi, Deborah out says, Crouching Tiger Hidden Adam, how you doing, bud? Haven't seen you for a little while. Been playing this late joining, found so many bugs with this. Yeah, if you head back to the beginning of the stream, we found loads and I was quite critical of the route. Um, so if you, if you didn't see the beginning of the stream, guys, I know some of you haven't been in for the whole thing. Um, the route looks absolutely beautiful. The artwork is stunning. That was We've done a little vote earlier, and that was pretty much unanimous. Everyone said, you know, the route looks amazing. The, the 385 and the, and is bug. The route's not too buggy, but the 385 is really buggy, and it needs some work. And, we, and we just, we're kind of praying, well, I'm praying, that um, Rivet are going to get their act together with that over the coming days and, and get a patch out for it. Um, because... My god, does it need it. 
Yeah, no, Crouching Tiger Hidden, that's exactly what I said. It, it, it has the potential to be such a great route because it does look superb and you can see that a lot of work's gone into it. Um, and, you know, with the TMS, the announcements, there's, there's so many new features that have happened. And it's just, it's almost let itself down. It, it, it set itself up to fail. You know, it should have been such a great success. And it, it, genuine, genuine shame. Genuine shame. DET, can I play train operator 377 again? Certainly can at some point, but yeah, not, um, it's not on my radar right at the very moment. We certainly can sometime. Londo Spark, do you like the route based signalling that we have in the UK, or might you prefer to see something speed based like Germany where you don't need much route knowledge? Yeah, so I, I've played with PZB and LZB routes, um, and I, I kind of understand the principle of how German signalling works, where you have the, um, you pretty much drive to what you see. And obviously you've got the screen in the cab with a map on it as well in the German stuff and drive to the, the kilometre markers. I'm... Yeah... Uh, I don't know. I, I quite like the idea that you have to have route knowledge. Um, I, I quite like the idea that you know your route intimately and you know the route inside out. However, I can see the merit in when there's disruption on one line, you can take a train over a different route because you've got the information at your fingertips. So I, I definitely can see the merit in that. Uh, NG, give it a few weeks. I reckon the bugs will be fixed. Um, and we'll all say it's a great route. I really hope so. Genuinely. I've, I've, I really, really do hope so. Uh, who's texting me this time of night? Oh, it's my wife. You should be watching the stream. I'm just gonna... Don't never use your phone while you're driving a train. It's not a good idea. Just, just replying to my wife who's complaining the stream's gone on for a little bit. We, we have been live for coming up to three hours tonight. Um, we saw 185 a few lovely people in, which, which is brilliant. Uh, Platform 5, how do you turn on the AWS on a 66? You need to be in the number one end cab. This is the number two end. So if you're in the other cab, on the back panel there is... Um, if you jump back to the beginning of this section of the stream, you can see it. I want, oh no, we can't walk through the engine room, can we? So I can't show you. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll find like an MCB panel. You just click the panel open and you can flick it, flick it back in from there. Northern Prince Productions, we need a way to trigger sound effects. I'd love to throw an AWS at him right now. I can trigger them. Texting in the cab. Oh, sorry, Max. Now, using your phone in the cab isn't necessarily a problem. Just not while you're moving. That that would be. That very much depends on your company's policy, whether you're allowed to use your phone in the cab. Some companies have a point-blank, no phones in cab, turn it off policy. And other companies have a have it on, but all the time you're moving, you don't use it. So it, it depends on your company. I know, Sophie, Mrs. Time Lord, it, the, the time has just literally disappeared, hasn't it? It really has. It really has. I'm pressing D, but of course the braking on this is... We didn't do a running brake test either. That, that's, that's pretty bad of me. Or an overcharge, or a normal brake test. Uh, King ET haven't played the new route yet. Been at work today. What's bad with the new class 385? Uh, the worst thing about it, King ET, the, the two worst things about it that need to be sorted. Everything, everything else in it is is playable and you can work with it. But the two things that really, really need to be sorted as we come through Linlithgow, Linlithgow is silent W. Um, the, the the two things that really need to be sorted are the, the the wind noise in the cab. It's really, really loud, and the brakes. Everything else I can kind of I can deal with I can tolerate you know the the thing with the doors not working properly the TMS I, I can deal with that just that noise needs to be sorted out it needs to be just just turned down a little bit um, or a lot and 
sort out the brakes because the braking performance is is just not good, not good at all. Yeah, DET, no worries, but I I, I completely get that. This is my life trundling along on um, 66s, not stopping at stations. We will finish the run. We've got about 10 minutes to the end of the run, but I, I completely get you. I completely get you. Let's press this button here. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. And we'll have a little bit of that. Platform 5, no worries. Really appreciate you joining us, bud. I appreciate it. It is, it is now 12 minutes past 11. I know lots of people have got to be up for school and work in the morning. I've got work tomorrow, but I'm not into 11.30 in the morning, so not too much of a problem for me. Trains got stuck in Linlithgow for two and a half hours. Oh, really, bud? Uh, Maxwell, I will have a look at that. Yeah, Londo Spark, I, I'm I'm privy to, to some discussions that have gone on um, behind the scenes, and I I think it's going to be looked at. That's that's about as much as I can say. Thomas Cooper's going... Oh, Thomas Cooper, you're, you're guessing. We need a number from you. Um, who have we got? Platform 5, who is just off to bed. You have been chosen with number 8. Let's I'm play sure Locomotive Livery Location. We have done 8, in which case we go to the next number, which is Train Scotter with number 16. 10 seconds, guys. Locomotive Livery and Location, if you please. <laughs> Ooh, I think that gives the location away. I reckon you can get it from that. Fantastic. And of course, guys, 179 of you lovely people in, which is, is absolutely, honestly, that's absolutely amazing. Um, if you haven't already, please do hit the like button, consider subscribing. So, if you have just joined us, then my name's Richard, and it's the first stream you've seen of me. My name's Richard, and I'm a freight train driver and a former passenger train driver based down in the southeast of England. And a YouTuber extraordinaire. Not quite, but uh, but we're getting there. We don't do too bad. So we do Train Sim, train sim World, Train Sim Classic, uh, occasionally some Roblox SCR uh, British Railway streams, general railway content, some train spotting videos, train driver vlogs, all that sort of thing on the channel. So do go and check all that out as well. And if you want to as well, find out my, about my life as a train driver. I do post some nice pictures and bits and bobs on my social media, which is on the screen for you right now. Shameless plug. DT, are you a millionaire yet? Uh, no, far from it. Far from it. Uh, what are we reckoning? Pig and Bob's gone 185 Trans Pennine Express at Preston. Richard Goss, uh, when is now Scotland Glasgow on PlayStation 4? I I did hear it had been delayed until next Tuesday, Richard, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, I could... I, might be able to have a little look for you on the Discord server and tell you using a phone while driving again. That's not good. Uh, PlayStation users, we are delaying the release until January the 31st. January the 31st for uh, PlayStation users. Uh, as Train Simulator Driver has just put in the chat there. So hopefully when you get it on PlayStation, all the little glitches and faults would have been completely and utterly ironed out and you'll get a, an amazing driving experience, or so, so I hope. Trampolines! West Cornwall local. Ah! It, it, it's pretty. It's very pretty. Maybe I'm biased. I I am. You got the cab door open there as well on the front loco. Not really a problem though. 
Uh, Crouching Tiger here, do you need to blow your horn when approaching the station? There's no requirement to unless there's a, a whistle board before the station. However, there's a lovely clause in the rule book that says the driver may sound their horn whenever they deem it necessary. So if you're coming towards a station and there's people stood on the end of the platform or on their phones not paying attention, then if you want to sound a nice, friendly um, toot on the horn, you can do that. So 5.5 miles to go guys at this speed, that's going to be about 5 minutes left on this stream. I would be really interested to know in the chat um, your your thoughts on the route and I'll read some of them out as well. So in, in, a, in a few short words I'll be really interested to hear what your thoughts on it are. I've, I've given mine enough throughout the evening so great route, great potential, fix the bugs and it's a big fat thumbs up from me. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, I'll be interested to see where, where you're kind of at with it as well. And the fact that most of you have sat through a nigh on three hour stream is just incredible and I'm, I'm really thankful for you two for, uh, for joining me. Uh, RBX 33, if they did the Southwestern Railway route, what should it be? Ooh. Good question. Honestly, I would like to see... It'd be like a mini add-on. Would it? No, ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> Southwestern Railway to Windsor would be, would be pretty good with the Hounslow Loop and the Richmond. Um, you could have a bit of freight running there as well. You'd have like Clapham Junction down to um, Clapham Junction down to uh, Staines or something like that. Electron Ninja, welcome to Deborah, new subscriber. Great username, by the way, bud. Uh, okay. Okay, DET Trains, do you get free tea biscuits for watching this long stream? Absolutely. Go and help yourself from the kitchen. Uh, NG, good looking but lacking the little final touches with the train. Huge potential. Matt Smith, this is the best looking route I've seen, but I think I'll wait for them to fix the bugs. Sophie, Mr. Time Mills, looking beyond the bugs, no denying. Hitachi train is solid. Train scooter, Haven River will make a five circle route. You've already got that route in, I don't know if you're aware, but that is already in Train Sim Classic, but not Train Sim World. NG Waterloo Windsor. Yeah, de I definitely I'll go with that. Northern Princess Production. 7 out of 10. Frankly, I go easy. The sounds are sub ideal. I'm not convinced the logic on the doors is right either. Aside from that, I like all the Dovetail Games, Rivet Games products. It needs two more weeks in dev. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. Crouching Tiger. The graphics are stunning. The ambition was incredible. The bugs, mainly the reverser for me. Um, and this is one of the best add ons. Craig Poole, the TMS system of the announcement seems a good idea, needs a little work. Yeah, and I, I cut them some slack on that purely because it's the first time we've had anything like that in game, so they're, they're being experimental and I cut them some slack with that, but yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. No, it's, it's, it's good to hear your thoughts. Um, Scottish Snips Snips 1, welcome to Dad Round, new subscriber, great to have you here. Trains, it would be a good route with a four, a route with a fourth bridge. Yeah, of course, five circle has, doesn't it? So, two point two miles to go. Bot Boy V R R B X. Fun fact: Burnie Arms is the least used station in the UK. In twenty nineteen, it has a geocache called Clapham Junction. Someone's been watching Jeff Marshall. Uh, Scott Route 170 says route is solid, but the 385 needs quite a bit of work to be great. But it does have the potential; it definitely does. Electron Ninja, brilliant shiny train. Can't believe they overlooked the wind bug. Love the line. Hopefully, all they will be fixing in a week or two. Andrew, the announcer is very distracting when driving. We'd be good with location-based string. Yeah, I would love to have seen the, an automatic announcer, Andrew. I can't deny that. I would definitely, definitely have preferred an automatic announcer. Um, but like I said earlier, it's the first time we've had such a thing in game, so I'll, I'll, I'll cut them a little bit of slack, and hopefully in future routes and trains, it's something that they, they will implement. DT, very poor route. They should be embarrassed on how poor their effort and beta testing team is. No, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but that's fine. Yeah, as Northern Princess Production says, the next step for the train is to auto-announce like the real thing does. Uh, Glitch Creeper. I haven't watched Jeff Marshall for a little while, but I, I did follow. I followed the All the Stations, and I was on one of the All the Stations episodes as well. You'll have to rewatch them all to find out which one. It's near the beginning, though. Uh, 
One yellow. Almost at the end, guys. Mac Westbury to Bristol could have a lot of potential. Or we can ex just extend the Great Western Main Line down to Bristol. Just do the whole lot, whole lot and give us a... Um, Give us an 801 or something like that. That that would be... That would be good. That would be very good. Oh, we're supposed to stop down here. Okay. Are we going to get stopped for a signal or what's going to happen? Are we going to have a relieving driver waiting here? Um, freight trains do get relieved in the middle of nowhere sometimes. It's not always on a platform. I should know how this train works. I'm not releasing the brakes properly. Um, uh, Glitch Creeper, I think they did well on this route. Testing out new things to input into future routes. I'm wondering if I possibly should have been rooted into the loop there, and it hasn't rooted me into the loop. Well, it hasn't allowed me to end the scenario. Let's go forward a tad more. If we found another glitch, that would be terrible at the end of the stream, wouldn't it? You're telling me I've gone past it now. I'm stopped. Now it's registered. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Matt Smith, it would be a fitting end to find another bucket. It would indeed, Matt. It would indeed, Matt. So there we go, guys. I've given you my thoughts on the route. Um, you've given me yours as well. So yeah, definitely, if, if there's anyone from Rivet watching, and I have feed, fed back some of, the, some of the bugs, this route and this train has got so much potential. It's, it's got so much... There, there are so many people in the community that want this to succeed as well. You know, and, and everyone's kind of rooting for you. So please just get out there, fix the bugs, and, and just give us something that we can we can really enjoy. So guys, 168 if you're still here, which is amazing. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be brilliant. I hope to see you all again um, in a in a stream very very soon. I do stream, um, try and stream a couple of times a week, but it depends on my work schedule because, like I say, I am a, a freight train driver on shift work, so it can be a bit difficult sometimes. You can also check out my socials, which are on the screen for you right now. If you want to support the channel and support me, you can become a channel member from 99p a month. Click on the little join button to find out more about that. And if you haven't, you can join our Discord server where we talk about trains, planes and life in general. Pretty friendly community over there and you're more than welcome to join us. I'm going to press that button there. Oh no, I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! Let's play Don't go. Locomotive Livery Location. Someone already got this right. Thank you, Knife by a Kangaroo. I almost forgot. It's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. TPE 185 at Preston. And I think DET Trains, um, who's been pretty amazing tonight. DET Trains, I think you were the first one to get that right, but I could be I could be wrong. Thank you, Knife by a Kangaroo, for sending that in. So there we go, guys. I'm now going to press... I'm now going to press that button, which should start the end music. Thank you very, very much for joining me, um, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really enjoy it. Thanks very much for your time. Hope to see you all again in a future stream or in the Discord or on my social media channels. Bye for now. <laughs>